Those four and that stage are the ones that we ban. Or a paper scissors? I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a paper scissors. I ban one, you ban two, then I ban one. I ban two. Uh, I ban one. I ban one. Uh, no, we're, we're not playing any of those stages, we're just playing that stage, that stage, that stage, that stage. That stage. Oh, you also get another band. Okay, how about now? Can you uh, hear us all? Lovely people at home when being serenaded by yeah. you know, the, the song of my people. Oh, absolutely. Okay, Yo. I think they can hear us now. It was just set to the, the wrong device. I don't know what it was set to. Do Look, we... everyone's, everyone's missed my intro now. You know? I know, it's kind of kind of sad. They've, they've missed me talking about how wonderful it is to be here, and, you know, how how it's been a long time coming, all those wonderful details. They missed my such, rant such, about such Bam. A rich language that I was using too. Honestly, I think it may have been one of the finest intros that I, you and I have ever done. And you'll never hear it now. That's the reality of the situation. Because we are going to go straight into our rival set. Pool one this morning. Got Handman versus Hawksy. So you guys are good to go over there when you're ready. Not really familiar with Hawksy. Handman, obviously a mainstay in the uh, Victorian community. Oh yeah, absolutely. His crag is definitely one to be feared. Um, and also kind of one that's uh, been memed on quite a bit. He can pull out some uh, really interesting jank when he wants to, but he's... <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't want to talk about the jank so much. I want to talk about his results. Handman is someone who's really surprising. You know, he... I believe he has, you know, wins over Jet previously. I, I think he... Has he managed wins over yourself? Um, I don't know if he's managed wins over myself. Um, but it's possible that'll be in the cards today because I will be bringing out my POM, which isn't quite as experienced as my Maple. <laughs> but I know that, like many people in the Victorian community, uh, he's just not a fan of POM in general. He's got some words to say. I mean, coming into the next PR, he's someone who I think is, you know, potentially climbing up those ranks. He's, he's already been taking sets off Jeff this year. Um, He's been getting close against some of our other PR players. I know, oh gosh, Phoenix is someone that I, I know he's been close with in a lot of sets. I, I'm, I'm not sure what their record is currently, but... <laughs> oh my god, the taunt. Um, in chat, the audio is fine. No audio. Audio okay. is good. No, we're good. Okay. Let's just focus uh, on the game, <laughs> you know? <laughs> But I'm really interested to see how Handman plays his Crag. Um, obviously, being the resident Crag, Crag main myself. Um, I'm sure you've got some opinions. Ooh. I mean, there's some slight differences. Uh, even compared to Red Chains, who was also here today. First uh, major event Oh my them. goodness! Look at that. I really like how Handman's been stepping up his um, rock game, his shard game, and especially his edge guard game, as, you, um, yeah, well, as you've seen there. That's something that he and I have actually discussed in some detail as well. Um, you know, we, we try to learn from each other this scene uh, it's not something that you you can do on your own sometimes get pro progressing and getting better um, that improvement is always fast-tracked by relying on the people in your scene to help you along the way but absolutely yeah I mean Hawksy I'm not familiar with them if they're they're fresh to rivals or not not sure of the arrangement oh I guess we're not quite happy with that uh <laughs> I, yeah I guess not at that stage <laughs> you could see Hawksy kind of like a like oh my. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. I won't repeat such words on the stream, you know. It's a fam family-friendly environment. <laughs> and I want to see everyone being nice and wholesome in the chat here as well. I'm, I'm, I'm monitoring you all. You're on, you're on watch, okay? You're on notice. 
Going into Air Armada, that's um, an interesting choice. Oh, look, I, I quite like this stage for both characters, really. I oh, mean, that's not the DI you want. Yeah, but when you're DIing your forward seats <laughs> like that, it's there's not much to be done. I mean, the blast zones on the sides aren't too large. You, mm -hmm. You're going to be knocked off the stage. and. Oh, my God. He needs to get rid of that pillar, I think. Okay, now that's all right. Yeah, it looks like Hawksy's just uh, hasn't got those fundamentals down solid just yet for uh, recovering. Oh, look, that's okay. Um, I'm sure he's just happy to be involved and engaged. Uh, <laughs> Handman is just like really laying it on Hawksy. My goodness. I mean, it gives us a chance to sort of look at Handman's setup and his edge guards and things like that. Because some of those rock things, that, that wasn't things that he was doing a year ago. Absolutely. So there's a little adjustments yeah. there. Maybe that's uh, Zetaburn specific stuff that he's thinking about. You know, Zetaburn, relatively easy character for Craig to be edge guarding, especially with the tools that he has available. But yeah, just a good opportunity to see those tools in use. I mean, good work to, to Handman progressing through next, yeah. next sets. Good I uh, wonder <laughs> who we'll have coming up now. I mean, it did take us like a solid 10 minutes to convince the head TO to actually put anyone on the the stream setup. Yeah, I just want to remind everyone today that I am not the head TO, and if anything goes wrong, you are to blame Brendan's foe. Um, get in his DMs, make sure he knows. Make sure to <laughs> bully him, like, yeah. extra hard. I was saying to Osu before, my, my aim is to um, get Brendan to run as many events as possible, and hopefully he'll be balding from the stress by the end of the year. You Absolutely, know, yes. I've, I've had the years of experience doing it. It's now time for me to inflict that to pain To pass on to that others. on. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, good. I just yes. get to sit in the chair and just, just talk shit. Just about relax. It's great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, how good is this? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, until tomorrow when uh, you've got to live through that experience with. We don't, six we don't talk about that. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. In the chat, we've got uh, Nava Musica saying that Hairman is sick. I do agree with that statement. Not familiar with you. I know we have. Um, People in the New Zealand community here today, people from Western Australia. So, I mean, hopefully all the boys back home on the on the stream to uh, <laughs> sort of cheer them on. Yeah. Speaking of which, we've got Lichko sitting down at the moment. So, Oh, is this the next set? Looks that way. I, I think we'll, we'll check it out real quick. Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah, looks like we've gone straight into winner's quarters. Quarters, rather. I mean, do you think... Uh, Lichko was sitting in the background just watching there. <laughs> oh my god, he's really spamming that. I'm uh, actually not really really familiar with that skin, so when I heard the sound effect before <laughs> the stream started, I, my eyes widened. I was like, what is going on? Hammond's broken the game. Oh, this should be a good set to see. I mean, this feels like already a high level set. I mean, I'm, I'm really fascinated to see Lichko. Uh, at a local, do some work. Um, I know Craig is not a matchup that he loves, yes. <laughs> just quietly. Um, but look, I, I think some adjustments. This could be, you know, quite a tight set. You can see Lichko. I think is it a box controller or I'm not sure what it is. Smashbox, hitbox. Yeah, it's a box controller. Something along those lines, anyways. <laughs> But yeah, he's like one of the few people in this scene that actually uses um, a box controller or just a non-standard controller. It's fascinating watching how that impacts his movement and things like that as well. Um, yeah. Things like hit falls. I mean, Edelus is a character that you have like Nair, which is active for such a long time. It makes it really easy to time your hit falls and things like that. And especially like the dash attack cancels. So you can yeah, jump, jump cancel that dash attack. Lots of movement stuff with that. So watching his movement and his recovery just because he's on a box controller is really interesting. It's kind of like keyboard, but not really, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, I think a box gives you a little bit of extra directional flexibility compared yeah, to a keyboard. But, yeah. I mean, fundamentally, um, it's not too different. And getting to the stage bands. I think it's time for us to do the traditional... Uh, you know, Australia has the standard stage bands, but we do things <laughs> a little bit differently around here. Of course, yes. So people will see on the screen right now, Tempest Peak is banned. Thank God. I don't want to touch that stage. We're, we're, we're ahead of the times here, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, uh, Australia has had a very interesting history with the, the stage bands and counter picks and starters and whatnot. Um, but we are mostly back to the default one now. It's just that Tempest Peak just doesn't ever see the light of day and hopefully never will again. I agree. It's just <laughs> super duper jank. 
And yet people seem to enjoy the uh, old layout as well, which I thought was even more jank than the existing version. Yeah. I mean, one thing I will say is that uh, with Handman, I think a little bit of patience goes a long way against him. So you can see Lichko is really spacing himself back. I think that will actually be really advantageous going to the set. Um, you know, having that, that patience. Yeah. One of the things I find with Handman is that if, you, uh, if you're patient enough, he will just kind of get bored and start to approach you and... Yeah, I mean, he, he gives you openings. And I, I think that first stock was a good example of that. A lot of the neutral interactions went Lichko's way. He was really patient with the parries and things like that. Like, look at that. He, Lichko's already controlling the pace of this set from, from dot one. Yeah. It's a little bit unfortunate with Hairman as well. He really likes to use his pillar when he's on top of you. And that can be easily countered and he can get yeah. punished for it. But it seems to be just a bit of a bad habit. Oh, God. Ooh. Oh, he didn't get the tech either. That's pretty unfortunate. Yeah, I right mean, could have, could have double jumped and done aerial to sort of prevent that. Oh, nice. Parry with the ice there. there. Yeah, so that, that's something that Lichko is pretty well known for as well. He the calls Donda. That the, the Donda, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's it's fairly easy to counter, so I, I really hope that he doesn't rely on that and we start going back to that oh, absolutely. slower pace we saw in the first stock because things have Ooh, evened wow. up very quickly and now Handman's finding some footing in this uh, first game. I love to see Handman really punishing Lichko for mm. spamming those icicles. Another right. Donda, got okay. The, got the freeze that time though. And nice read. Nice tech read. He's nodding his head along <laughs> like, yeah, I felt good about that one. <laughs> Doing it for the, hope, uh, the folks at home. <laughs> uh, back at even though. Whoa. Oh goodness. Lichko just needs to slow himself down. He's, he's trying to rush in a little bit too much now and Handman is now controlling the pace of things. You can see Lichko's not even getting a straight hit. That oh, geez. first 2% of the stock, but... Handman's doing a great job of just kind of keeping him out right now. Well, it's the way Handman's using these edge guarding tools to cover those resources. So yeah. Lichko has been double jumping at a disadvantage Ooh. a lot. Um, you can see some of the air dodging habits come into play as well. And I think that's probably what hit him the hardest in that last stock there in particular. But we'll see. Good stuff by Handman though. Oh, look, I... I think there were some really positive signs there for Lichko regardless, so... Yeah, he could definitely make it back, he just needs to make a couple of little adjustments oh, hey, to his gameplay. Let's start thinking about the stage picks, let's start pick, thinking about... You know, oh, the stage it. theory! Yeah, well, you've got to think about the stage theory. Sets of course. A, sets a one on the stage select <laughs> screen, my friend. <laughs> some people... I think they're non-believers. Non-believers, yep. They just pick whatever stage feels good, and they go with it. I think what those people need to do is come down to Victoria and just listen to me rant about stages for one one tournament oh um, it's incredible like that yeah. one night i stayed over at your place <laughs> had some pasta it was like all this all this stage theory it was like a university lecture yeah uh, i wine and dined osu you know <laughs> nice romantic night lit some candles talk about some rivals oh uh, yeah <laughs> oh really thinking yeah you can see that Handman's just not Ooh. sure what stages you want to ban. I, I, I feel like these are things you should be thinking about in advance for these matchups. You know, these need to be snap yeah, decisions. Yeah, it feels but like a lot of this can just be like you think about it ahead of time. You write it down somewhere, and then when you're actually at an event like this, you even whip out your phone, look at your notes, yeah, say, get the get the notes going. Yeah, well, it's better than like spending a couple minutes trying yeah. to think about it. Yeah, shout out, shout outs to Mast, the uh, <laughs> the OG note taker. Oh yeah, <laughs> man, that guy notes. Oh. Oh, he's really thinking. How long until we claim that he's icing out Lichko here? It, it, it feels BM at a certain point. Look, <laughs> you can see Lichko gave him the side eye. Like, what are you thinking, man? <laughs> <laughs> All we need now is for Handman to start sipping water. And uh, we'll have a full whizzy moment right here. Oh, oh here we go. Things, things are happening. Oh, I'm not sure about that. He's, yeah, he's left it open and Lichko's snap picked it. <laughs> I love that. Nice open stage, no platforms. Yeah, I mean, Lichko needs to find the space, cut off the rock play, because Handman is going to need to rely on it in neutral if he can't find the spacing. But yeah, good stuff like that. Just get the bread and butter down, counter the basic stuff that Handman's doing, and... Sometimes that's all you need, just yeah. execute on your fundamentals. On a stage like this, yeah, Edelus getting those fundamentals is going to be really important for Lichko. Yeah, you really need to avoid going off... Oh, oh God. jeez. But really need to avoid going off stage as Edelus because Crag just has so many tools to deal with you. I think that was a combination of poor DI on the down tilt, and you could see Lichko jumped in out of disadvantage again. 
nasty habits like that really hurt you in Rivals. Okay, just needs to do the bread and butter. He just jabs. Stop, stop doing that. <laughs> All you needed to do was sit oh, on the no. corner of the stage and jab, my friend. Oh, these fundamentals. He's trying to get crazy. Experimental. Yeah. But uh, I'm loving oh. these uh, break cancels from, from Hand Man. Really experimenting with them in friendlies and now pulling them off in tournament settings. Well, it was a bit dangerous there for a second with the rock shards, but this is going pretty cleanly Hand Man's way at the oh, moment. Oh, and the taunt. <laughs> Love to see it. Oh, how am I just really pushing Lich go off to the uh, to the edge and getting as Ooh, much space? Oh, in, but just didn't get it with the Dacus. So many trades, oh dear. Yeah, one thing I noticed about Lich go. <laughs> oh my goodness, unnecessary. Oh. <laughs> the way he kind of delays his aerials a lot as he's falling. Um, I won't claim that it's a box thing, but it's it's definitely something that I I see Lich go do a lot. It's just like the the pacing of when he attacks. There's a, there's yep. a tempo to it. That is unlike many other players. Yeah, that'll clean it up. Get one stock on the board. I mean, Lichko just needs to play some clean neutral, and if he gets a couple punishes his way, maybe we can see a comeback. Ooh, but like that armored fair right there. To get we are stage. still seeing things pretty dominant hand man's way, and stray hits like that are not going to do Lichko any good. <laughs> he was still in hit stun, so the parry didn't didn't apply. <laughs> oh That's man. That's pretty funny. You don't see that interaction very, very often. Oh, uh, you yeah, see no. it sometimes with Edelus and Arbsaw. I'm not sure what the other characters are these days that kind of see that. Like, maybe you'd see that with Molo quite a bit more with the bombs. Yeah. Nicely done from here, man. Unfortunate parry, but I believe that is Lichko's first set of the day. There's plenty of opportunity to come back and lose us, you know? Oh, absolutely. But Handman just really playing a solid game right now, making use of his rock shards and his edge guarding fundamentals yep. stuff that you like to see so i think based on what we've seen so far hairman is going to be a considerable threat uh, uh hey, we'll see um by the looks of things he's got conga and winner's semis that'll be a good point. set to watch i mean conga is someone who's really comfortable with the crag matchup yeah um gonna see that in the play looks like cherry and red chains up next just being told okay well so another crag coming up Pretty consistent on the stream here. They must have known I was commentating. They're, just, they're, they're, they're getting them all on <laughs> We've now. We've got the domain expert right here to explain all of your questions about Crag. I mean, uh, just quietly, you know, the seating's completely rigged so that I don't play any of the Crags. You know, I, I made sure to just, you know, yes. tweak some of the numbers while rendered why I wasn't looking, so... Uh, what is this? Is this also... Don't winners? let him know. It's a secret, you know. Winners quarters... <laughs> um... Edelus. Another Edelus Craig. Okay, I don't even need to change the characters. That's fantastic. I mean, I know Cherry does have... I believe he had a Maple he was training up at one point. Yeah, but... But I don't expect to see that in tournament today. I think the Edelus is a lot more consistent. And, you know, he's had his long-time sparring partner, uh, Random Seven Flame, to sort of train up oh, the Edelus. Oh, yeah. The tournament. amount of games that they've had together, I believe they said it was something like... They, they have over 3,000 replay files of them just, just playing. I think they played a first to 100 the other day. Ah. I haven't had the energy to do that <laughs> in five years. How long must that take? I, <laughs> my hands don't work that way anymore. These young kids coming in. <laughs> oh, yeah. God, I couldn't imagine. Because that must take a couple hours to, to yeah. grind through that. The, stu the stuff these kids are made of. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah, we do have a keyboard player coming in now. So you can... I think you may be able to hear some of the sound effects coming up on the, <laughs> the setup as Very you're plugging cool. it in and uh, trying to get it all working. Hopefully it just works. Yeah, well, I mean, we'll see. Keyboard. That is always a really fun part of being a TO and, you know, running oh, the, yes. the stream. Like, do the controllers work with keyboards? Yeah. <laughs> do the keyboards work with the Switch Pro controllers? Will the keyboard work with a box controller <laughs> plugged in at the same time? Oh, uh, I think... Remembering back to what, Espionage 2 or 1, I think? Um, yeah, yeah. I that was not a great time. We spent we like had 20 some minutes. With Conga there, yeah. Oh, jeez. I think uh, you have better odds just flipping a coin sometimes, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but look, I, I want to talk about both these players really quickly. Okay. Starting with Cherry. Cherry, who's someone who joined the scene really quietly a few years back, I believe. Maybe, maybe three, maybe four. 
four seems too many, but you know, yeah, mm. it, it, COVID time doesn't count, you know. Yeah. Um, but they'd never had experience in fighting games before. I know they Not had that sort new. of connection of a random seven flame, and they just sort of slowly progressed. Yes. And I am astounded at where they are right now, based on where they were all those years ago. It is an it's incredible, kind of like incredible difference. Um, you know, he's been a threat in the amateurs brackets. But speaking of, the big threat in the amateurs brackets is almost exactly the opposite story. Red Chains is honestly one of the newer players who is a huge threat in this region. Um, you know, I know he took out the amateurs, uh, amateurs league season one pretty handedly. There were some tight sets there, but... <laughs> it's, yeah, definitely amazing to me how quick... Oh, Ooh. missing the tech. It's amazing to me how quickly Red Chains has kind of advanced and gotten better um, over time. And it's been interesting to see that just from playing friendlies with a guy and watching uh, sets in Amis as well. Like, he's definitely thinking. He's definitely improving. I mean, he's, he's carved out his own sort of crack play style. I think um, one thing that may let him down, um, I would say, is recovery. So that's something that Red Chains is still working on. Um, him and I have had those conversations. Um, so I'm really interested to see how he's progressed with that. But the other thing that may be a concern is uh, Red Chains doesn't really have local experience, does he? He's been an online warrior for some time. Yeah. Whereas Cherry, he's been a part of the Victorian scene for such a long time now. And... You know, he's, he's been through the tournament nerves. He's been through people spectating him, you know, things like that. And that experience, really valuable at a major like this. Because there's one, it's one thing to play in an online bracket. I mean, sure, oh, there are nerves sure. there. But when you're playing in person with people cheering in the background, <laughs> yelling, it's a completely separate thing, especially when it's like a game three or a game five situation. You really have to develop that mentality and that I mean, mental yeah, energy. You're thinking about what the commentators are saying. You're thinking about what the people at home are saying. Things like that. Those are things that can get in your mind as a fresh player. Um, oh, absolutely. You know, I can see Red Chains is kind of nodding his head, head along at sometimes, things like that. Cherry, on the other hand, <laughs> I know people can't see the cams, but he's been stone-faced <laughs> this entire time. The composure <laughs> on this man's face. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that was so clean. I love it. See Red Chain a little pop off in the head there and everything. <laughs> really love to see it. Um, back to our favorite part of the set stage theory time. <laughs> well, we don't need to break it down too much. I mean, the fans came out a little bit more quickly. Interesting that, you know, Endless Abyss is obviously left open again. Um, I honestly feel like it could be a, st a mistake with Cherry versus Red Chains. I think Red Chains would actually be very comfortable on an Endless Abyss type stage. But we'll see. So I don't, I don't mind going for a larger stage like this. Uh, Cherry just needs to be comfortable with how he's moving and how he's recovering as well. It's going to be a big thing uh, against Crag. <laughs> does have the double jump available, so the double jump fair not going to work with the, the forward air coming in. Oh, I'm not what is he, what is entirely he sure <laughs> what that was. Oh! oh I'm not sure if he was going for some break cancel and tried to do the neutral air. I know he's been practicing that. Yeah, yeah. I feel like he was trying to do something with break cancel there, but just uh, misinputted that down air. What's interesting is um, Craig has a lot of tools oh like that, God. little little things in the kit that he can do, and I feel like players focus on those things at the wrong times. So Red Chains found his footing in his neutral in com his combo game. Oh, oh goodness. Oh. <coughs> Well, okay. And he got really good at that stuff and was getting the results he wanted. And he's only just now starting to implement some of that stuff, um, which I think is what you want to be doing when you're learning a game like this. You don't want to be starting with the, you know, the frame perfect, buffered inputs. Yeah, you, know, you don't want to be learning like how to baby dash and all of this sort of stuff immediately. You're pushing yourself too far too soon. So uh, that may be one of the reasons that we've seen the, you know, really quick progression in the ranks for him, you know, he's practiced all, all the really important fundamentals first and he's implementing this other stuff now. That rock may cause some trouble here. I don't uh, like the forward strong, but he cleans it up with the <laughs> up air. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that rock is very nice to have and then he uh, just got it out I of the I would have left it there. It prevents, yeah. prevents the cherry from drifting in, you know. You can maybe use it later in the edge guard, but, you know, cover over the top of the rock. His drift is locked in. You know he can't 
you know, maneuver too much. Get that parry in. Okay, like the up tilt with the, the rock shards, Ooh. but yeah, unsure of the up strong. But I mean, we can see this is been predominantly in uh, Red Chain's favor so far, and yeah. Cherry's hanging on this last stock. You know, that large stage coming in handy so that he doesn't die off the side blast zones there, but he needs to make a oh, little bit nice more progress. Oh, nice and clean. So take that stock, it's the first step. We got armor up, so... Wow. Oh, it's going to save him in that situation, but that armor's not going to hold for much longer. So it's now or never for Cherry. He needs to get something big here, and the parry, I think... Oh, could have ended it! Nice read from Red Chains. Look, he makes it work, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that was a really yeah, solid performance. <laughs> you can see a little... <laughs> I'm not sure if he was going for the fist bump or if it's just, oh, it's you know, a little pop-up, you, know, you know? Jet versus Red Chains coming up on stream. Oh, we're progressing pretty quickly in Windows, wow. man. Hey, we might be ahead of schedule by the end of this, you know? Hey, that's not a, not a bad thing. And this is Winner's Semis. Just give me one moment to hop off the mic, be back. Yeah. Sure thing. Well, stream, guess you're stuck with me for the moment. Hello, everyone. It's uh, my lovely face again. I'm getting away from Red Chains himself. Um, but let's, uh, let's actually get back to the set. I believe they're quite keen on getting into the game. So I don't want to stop them from doing what they love. Let me reset the win count. There we go. That's much better. Looks like we've got our Crag Expert coming right back in. Oh, just in time. <laughs> Excellent. So this is like the classic matchup. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is one of the ones that if you're in Australia, you need to know this matchup. You know, Rasta, very good character. And it's a very hard matchup to play. You know, you have to be very disciplined to make it work. So, you know, those, those are things we'll be talking about coming to the, the stage picks and things like that. I mean, I've, I've always been really interested in Rasta's slip train mechanic. It is quite powerful in a game like this. Absolutely. But there are a lot of things there that people don't really think about. Um, you know, Rasta, he kind of communicates to you where he wants to play at all times. So you have to be thinking about stages that kind of work with that as well. Um, in this matchup, something that I encourage is finding a stage with high platforms, um, which... Yeah, this is one of the stages I actually ban as a starter for that reason. You know, having that low platform like that, it makes it really difficult to play. But hey, um, Jet's played a lot of my crag. He's played a lot of Gabe's crag. He's played some of the really strong crags in this scene. But I think he gets surprised by some of the, the random things that <laughs> some of the crag plays he's not as familiar with. He's do. so used to like optimal outcomes and um, yeah, really good yeah, well, situations that when... It's very specific play styles, you know? So yeah. I think uh, Red Chains Ooh. plays very differently to myself and Gabe, and that may catch Jet off guard, quite honestly. I mean, we can see that's coming to play first off. Really strong start for Feels like for Jet's Red really Chains. playing defensive there. What? Wow. okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, Red Chains really coming off with a strong start at the moment. Is Jet just washed now? Oh, I wouldn't say that. I, <laughs> there's going to be some adaptation to the way that Red Chains is playing. Um, I, I, I have no doubt Jet will, will get on top of it at some point. But, hey, if Red Chains can get on the board in this game one, it is only a best of three set. You know? Yes. That's going to be Jet in loses huge <laughs> for Red Chains. And really unfortunate for the poor fellow who has to play Jet <laughs> and loses. You know? Yeah, I was thinking the exact same thing. Texting your mum, she's checking in on you on the tournament. You know, oh, got really unlucky, mum. You know, I had to play the best player there in my, my first loser set. Wow, <laughs> a three stock. Oh, jeez. Oh. oh, he's walked away. That's a DQ. <laughs> he's gone. He's gone. <laughs> he's done. <laughs> We're swapping the chair over. That's fine. Uh, look, we can swap to the more comfortable chairs on the, the players if, if that's uh, what's needed. You can see he's reclined himself down, you know? Yes. <laughs> Oh, uh, we've got call for Rasta buffs in chat right now. <laughs> Jet washed. What's interesting about this, Jet has a headset on there. 
That is not the headset that we provided for the players. He's listening to his own music. Yes. Red Chains, on the other hand, does not have the player headset on, so neither of them are playing <laughs> with audio. <laughs> oh, who needs the uh, the game audio you anyway? You provide for these players and they just spit in your face. <laughs> oh, what are you going to do, man? What we really should have done is uh, mic'd up the the player headsets so that if they start talking shit to each other during the, the game, we get it all on stream. Oh, you know? yes. <laughs> I mean, again, this is another, like, instant ban in my books. And Red Chains has left it open, and he's... You know, it's... Yeah, I'm not... I wouldn't say that he's, you know, finding his footing, but it's at least quite even going for this first stock so far. Oh, Crack does get the damage up pretty quickly, so if he finds those straight hits... God, Jet's playing so slow right now. This is not what I'm at all nah, used this to. Nah, this is what he needs to do, though. It... Nice. Okay. Rasta has the ability to just dash dance... Force the interactions in, you know, in their favor. I think Jet playing this way is, is smart to feel Red Chains out at this point, especially when you're a game down on a wide stage like this. Yeah, Those honestly, sometimes consideration. sometimes it's best just to hang back a bit and let the opponent just um, expose opportunities. Yeah, just make their own mistakes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Unfortunate little tech scenario there. Okay, we find the opening. Red Chains is going to have to be careful with that, so he does fish for those up strongs at times. I mean, we saw it in the last set go his way, but Jed is someone who will punish him for it if he starts feeling it too much. Red Chains, on the other hand, needs to be aware of the same thing. Uh, I know Jet goes for the claps in neutral sometimes just to try to finish up a stock. Um, so you may, may find him doing that close to the ground, Ooh, things like that. Yeah. And it can be difficult for Craig to punish that, which is oh, why no. Jet gets away with it sometimes. But if Red Chain stays on top of him, uh, those things can make a difference. Needs to get rid of that. Oh, I'm not sure about this. I really don't <laughs> like this now. <laughs> okay, all right. He didn't break the rock there either. He let Jet break it for him, so it just hit him back with the rock shards. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, that was a bit of a weird situation there. In oh, the look, I, I won't criticize too much. We don't always get a, a game off Jet, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, no. <laughs> Maybe Red Chains knows something I don't. Good to see that these uh, these strings are going. Oh, weird scenario with the, the parry there. Okay, so that pillar's causing some trouble. But you can see, without any platforms there to escape to, these strings get extended. Slipstream becomes so much more predominant Ooh. in neutral and things like that. He can get a fair here. He can get it. No, no! <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, hate to see it. Oh, dear. Dear, dear. He's having a good laugh. Jet's throwing the hoodie on. He was embarrassed to see it. He's trying to shut the ears off. He's like, make it go away. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> hey, does he have the second hoodie on underneath his first hoodie? Who is this man? <laughs> oh, boy. You know, just like Jet's gameplay, he's got layers, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely. I will well say... That the two sets in a row we've seen Red Chain drop his stock like that. I've seen him do it all through amateurs as well. When I said the first time he came on stream, you know, a couple of recovery things, I wasn't talking about the <laughs> SDs. <laughs> yeah, that's unfortunate to see. Uh, he definitely needs to uh, to work on that. He must have just gotten I mean, too panic time. I have no idea what's going through this man's brain. He left two stages open yep. that I thought would be instant bans in this scenario. Could he possibly pick a stage that's raster favoured just to really even it out? <laughs> I think he just doesn't know any stage theory. He just picks uh, stages that feels good. I won't claim that. Look, it's it's really... It's up to the player. If you feel comfortable, then I can't ever say that it's wrong. Oh, I didn't like that. He needed to stay on the pillar there. Ooh, oh my god, that DI. Yeah. Especially as Crag at those lower oh, percents. Oh, what are you doing parrying there? Honestly, oh boy. he had access to another pillar, right? With Jet locked into the, the down strong, can Red Chains just jump around him? <laughs> That's kind of a big brain move, right? Ooh. Yeah. I mean, Jet's just harassing him off stage at that point. So well, clearly he needs to find working. his footing when he's, he's on the stage right now, but yeah, you can see. You can see Jet's getting more comfortable now. Yeah, rather I think than so. 
kind of waiting for him to do he stuff. He is a player who will improve over the course of bracket as well. Yeah, he's sure. very scary in that regard. You have to constantly be on your fingers. Oh god, toes. not the DR you want. This almost feels like the complete opposite of game one. Yeah. The momentum uh, look, is swung so hard. Even, even during game one, I was, I was saying earlier, Jada's type player who adapts, and we're, we're seeing that come into play now. It's up to Red Chains to really dig deep and find something now. That tech is really up looking for him. And going for the up strong there. <laughs> That's really not my, ideal. My man, Rasta has three aerial jumps. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh, oh what are you God, doing? Geez. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, he's doing the double jump watch. <laughs> As his man not learns. This is gutsy. <laughs> okay, I uh, can see something. It has to be the up air now. Okay, all right, all right. He did turn around, so I wasn't sure if that was going to connect, but yeah. Nice and clean. All right, let's pop off a of red chain. He's got on the board on that last up there. <laughs> oh, look. Uh, Jet is the top seed of this bracket. You can't feel ashamed of letting that one go. Oh and yeah, no. Getting a game on him, I think that could be a confidence booster. Coming, oh, definitely. Coming up to this event, first time playing some of these players, and damn, I've just taken a game off the number one player in the country. That's got to feel good, yeah. at least. Still plenty of sets to go as well. I wonder who's coming up on stream next. Are we gonna have any losers rounds at all, or is it just, just gonna be pure winners? I mean, no, we'll find out. I think. Uh, Priority would probably be getting Conquer on some point soon, but I don't know if any of the players from ah. the Losers Round 2 set have shown up, so... Yeah, that's a... We need, we need T.O. Rendered Spire to, to come in come in handy and get some uh, <laughs> some DQs going. What is this T.O. doing? I thought yeah. we had a dedicated guy who knew what he was doing. But oh, he, uh, he's rubbing the head. He's, he's <laughs> oh boy, he's going off. Thoughts and prayers to Random Spire, who, who died suddenly after a it was bam, bam so <laughs> unfortunate. Ah. Hello, Solas, in the chat. Welcome, New Zealand. Yes. <laughs> it's a shame you couldn't be here with us today. Um, you could be one of the cool kids. One but of the cool kids. Okay, yeah. Unfortunately, you're not one of the cool kids. It, it's just how it is. Yeah. Rendon such a shame. what's going on. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Got Jet making himself comfortable behind us. <laughs> <laughs> OMG, it's real life Pom player. Yeah, it is. Pom Gamer. I don't know who this player is who's shown up in the overalls in the background over there, but I absolutely love it. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> the the dungarees on the side there. <laughs> I, I must be blind. Oh. Oh, I see what you mean now. Yeah. Kind of cool. Kind of popping off. We'll, uh, we'll check in with the stream on fit checks over the course of the day. Just yes. To, just to keep you updated, you know. I know that's really important to everyone. So just to keep everyone updated, I'm, I'm wearing a staff t-shirt that is one size too small currently. Oh. It makes me feel like a big man, <laughs> like I'm powerful. Oh boy. I'm actually bursting out of it, you know? Oh yeah. Well, and I mean, that's got to be from the, the gym not games just, as well. Not just because I haven't been to the gym in two years. Oh, yeah, well, no, it's, okay. It's, it's all coming here, you know? <laughs> Can we get a Pandemic zoom Pandemic has, has done me wrong. You know, uh, it's a good thing the, the camera stops here, you know? <laughs> well... We can hey, get... Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> well, no, no, no. We'll keep it uh, above chest level. Chest this level. Is, uh, this is the man himself. Look at that guy go. <laughs> he's uh, he's definitely going. Do, do these setups have uh, the, the leg pedals as well? Uh, yeah, I believe that's what he Wow, does it have a clutch? Though. He's so yeah, fast. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely the pedals down the bottom there. Uh, okay, let's make sure not to get the bottom half. <laughs> there we go. I mean, nice. when, when Render doesn't give us sets on stream, these are the things that we have to talk about. <laughs> you, know, you have to find something it's to unfortunate, you know, converse about. Yeah. I really you wish... And I, you and I can just do a good old catch-up, like, how's work, how's the missus, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Weather's good. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, how's the pasta? Um, not doing anything new with the pasta. I think I kind of perfected it. Oh, right. Last time you came around. Oh, uh, actually, I think I make the sauce a little bit differently now. Oh, what's different? Um... So you get butter to cook the onion and the garlic in. Okay, and all right. And then um, after that, you use half a cup of the pasta water with the like 200 ml of cream. 
and then you let oh. that thicken up. And then once it's a little bit thickened and reduced, you throw in a whole bunch of parmesan and cheese. Wow. Throw the noodles back in so that the noodles continue cooking just a little bit in the sauce. So you, you slightly undercook them in the water for that okay. reason. Okay, yeah, gotcha. And it makes them, makes them taste real good. And wow. then you throw in your already cooked chicken and bacon to warm it up. A bit of parsley at the end. You can of throw course. in your salt and pepper, chili flakes if you want, things like that. Absolutely beautiful. This, these are the sorts of cooking tips yeah, that yeah. Uh, all the viewers have come here to uh, to learn about the pasta Absolutely, tips. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's missing out. We I used reckon. to have the S and C's house for this reason. It wasn't to play rivals; it was just a taste S and C's cooking. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Although, I mean, Gabe's had his own fair share of. Uh, I of still have streams. not tasted the Gabe chili. Really? All these, all these years, and I have not tasted the Gabe chili. I am. Oh, I'm terribly surprised. I mean, you've known the man since like 2016. How have you not had some of his chili? I think I've just missed it at events. That's that's rough. I'm not sure. I mean, I haven't had it either, but I've got a bit of a better excuse. Better excuse? Yeah. Of, of not traveling for the whole bunch of those majors that we went to earlier. Exactly. Days. Yeah. 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 So. That's what it is. <laughs> and now the man's going to the States. Yeah. Best of luck, Gabe. I know you're in the chat. Um, I know you do great things over there. Just try to try to find a decent coffee. That's that's all I'll, oh, I'll say to you. That's going to be rough. I mean, that's, that's the most Starbucks thing, yeah. is uh, not what you'd consider <laughs> good coffee. It's just sugar and more sugar. All right, let's let's get off topic. What's okay. going on with uh, with Rendered? I reckon he's, he's currently he's face palming. Yeah, no. <laughs> he's got no idea what's going on. He's, he's <laughs> left his commentators out to dry. Um. <laughs> I reckon. Feels like he's actively, his hairline is actively receding yeah, as no. we speak. He's, he's sweating bullets. I, I can see him from here. You could you could mop him off the ground off right now. He's just <laughs> oh absolutely, he's running around. Poor poor little guy's gonna be passed out tonight. You know. Gabe, which state I'll, are you I'll moving tuck to? It out. In the states. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the call out. Apologies if uh, if I scream through the mic here. Brendan. <laughs> okay, he's pointing. Who's that? Is that Tink Floyd? I don't know. Oh my god. He's stressing out right now. Hey! <laughs> North right, Carolina, cool. okay. You got FICO. FICO? FICO and Tide Road going back to a winner's oh. round two. So that's good. We'll have a string of uh, winner sets going. I think that's kind of locked us in the bracket right now. But honestly, the uh, set was called an hour ago and no DQs have happened, so. That's an interesting yeah. decision. Not what, what I would have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God, it feels so good sitting on the other side of the chair, doesn't it? It's. <laughs> Is uh, Fico Rano, I believe. He might uh, be. I'm not I sure. guess we will find. May have seen a swap out. at some point. I know he has a Claren as well, but we'll soon find out, I suppose. Okay, this versus screen may or may not be wrong, but we're just going to display yeah. it anyway and hope Whatever. for the best. Yeah, it looks like we are Rhino Claren, I believe. Oh, hey, well, if it is right, then we'll also just go with that. And we've got Super Dot into the chat saying, ooh, Claren. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. They going straight, straight into it. Oh, my goodness. Jeez, Louise. I'm not ready for this. Do you think they're both in their Smash Hole pool and they've just been called to play rivals and like, just get over with. Just yeah. <laughs> I will literally play on any stage you choose. Yes. <laughs> I know Fico is someone who has, um, you know, semi-competitively played rivals for some time. He had a scene, is it in Newcastle or something similar in New South Wales? I can't remember the exact Yeah, um, something like that. Suburb off the top of my head. I'm sure someone from New South Wales will correct me. But he has been in Victoria for... Ooh, I want to say maybe two years now coming yeah, up to that. Yeah, something like that. He's been in Victoria for a while. But obviously because of the, the lockdowns that we've had, I've actually we not played FICO once since wow. he's been in Victoria. We were trying to organize uh, a meet to sort of, you know, play friendlies for the day or something like that, get him trained up. Um, just, just never happened yeah. after everything, you know. But at least I, I know he's someone who's had interest in rivals for some time. Tide Row, on the other hand, I can't tell you much about. But apparently they're doing a fantastic job of uh, beating down Fico. It feels like Fico's just not uh, out of practice. 
I mean, yeah, we can see the slower pace. Um, yeah. And little things like that, little misinputs. But that's not bad. If we just focus on the fundamentals and, and things like that, no shame in that at all. But I, I always like these big events where people come along just to, you know, get some practice and play. Well, know, I mean, maybe for the first time they're playing other people locally. Yeah. For some of these guys, you know. And it's great Ooh, that we can just, wow. you know, come to an event like this, just enjoy the game. Nice and clean. I mean, I know we're talking about fit checks. I actually love the shirt that Fico's wearing there. <laughs> yeah, I mean... <laughs> <He's just> <laughs> no stage bands. <laughs> yeah, just straight in. Okay. He kind of shrugged his shoulders. I'm not sure if that was something that he agreed to or not, or if he's just, just going along with it. Like, oh, I guess we're oh, playing well. on Endless Abyss. <laughs> Yeah, that's the one thing about Fico. He definitely uh, has quite a fashion sense. He's quite well dressed every time that I see him. Oh, look, so. we can't have that be the focus of the stream. They'll pull me off comms. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, I really, really liked uh, the BAM stream, but I thought it was really weird that SNC kept commenting on people's clothes. Like, it just, it just seemed really inappropriate to me. <laughs> definitely don't want that guy at my next event. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, Wee. poor DI on that, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's not much to say in situations like that, you know. Okay, clean jabs. I haven't seen the stats on this since the Workshop 4 came out, but I know Claren was actually one of the most popular characters online. Really? Um, coming up after Definitive Edition. No, that's interesting to hear. I would have thought it would have been someone more like Zetaburn or... Uh... I mean, it's interesting we've got both these characters at the same time. These two characters were designed to be, you know, familiar. They were released in the yeah. same DLC pack back in the day. And I mean, they were supposed to be, you know, you know Marth, you know Sheik, yeah. you know, things like that. Um, Rana obviously has a couple of other influences in there as well. Um, Claren has some unique mechanics to play too. To distinguish them, but these, this is the pack for people who are really familiar with Smash and just want to hop in from time to time and feel comfortable playing. And then the pack that came after these two were for people who want to have an uncomfortable time. Oh yeah, just... right, uh, sorry, uh, Aliana and Sylvanas, they, <laughs> they are rivals characters, you know? <laughs> I mean, we still don't know if Sylv is a proper character. Yeah, I mean, exactly. is he well designed? Is he not? Does Dan know what he's doing with that character? Who knows? Like, but I think that's probably one of the reasons that Claren is such a popular character because she was designed in a way that she was always going to be a popular character. Yeah, I mean, with Claren, it, it um, feels very intuitive what your goals are. Yeah. Really. It's to just build up a sand and then whack him with a stick. I mean, the take on the tipper mechanic, I absolutely love. I think it's, yeah. it's a really cool, cool take on it. Well, GG's. <laughs> Good stuff to Tide Ray. I mean, we should probably address this on the, the stream at the moment. Um, there was a balance patch released this morning. There for, was. For rivals. Um, we are not playing on that patch. Uh, thankfully, the developers were kind enough to make sure that the previous live patch was available on the Steam betas for us prior to the event starting. So all of uh, the tournament play that you hit uh, see today, that is all on the previous patch, not on the newest one for the Workshop 4. Not that we've seen any of the Workshop characters so far in this pool. No, I mean, the Workshop characters actually appear to be quite unpopular. Like, people oh, pick them up. We've got a lot of really committed players. Not many of them would take the, the dive to make that swap. Yeah. Uh, especially because we have players who aren't, aren't committed to... <laughs> sort of relearning the game from scratch, that kind of thing. Yeah, know? I mean, there was a lot of interest in the early days, but then people kind of tempered off and um, went back to their mains. Yeah, of course. Um, Looks like Conga's stepping in. So, you're going to see Tide Ray continue on the stream. Okay. Do you want to flip that coin? Challenge. Flip that coin. Yeah, oh, yeah. got a keyboard play here. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> maybe it'll just work. <laughs> maybe we just got to... Maybe, uh, maybe it'll just work. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to keep my hopes up. But yeah, uh, the patch this morning for the workshop four. Yeah, not none of those balance changes made it in. I know we'll see actually Osu playing some POM later. Yeah, I'm so excited just, just to bring that out. Just keep that in out. mind as we're we're watching those sets. 
later on today. So winners quarters, we'll just update the wins as well. Ah, good call. Always forget about A beauty. that. Beauty. <laughs> <laughs> now I have no idea who Conga's gonna play, so I'm just gonna assume he's playing Shovel Knight, but it could be anyone. It could be could be Aliano. I know yeah. he's got a Sylvanas, he's got an Aerialist. It could be both. <laughs> really. I know that when I have sets against Conga, he'll whip out both of them. Uh, which is a pain in the butt trying to I adapt. am uncomfortable with the fact that they've relaunched the game. That can only mean bad things. <laughs> oh no, here we go. That's a lot of uh, error noises. Wake, wake me up when it's over. <laughs> oh dear. Inside job to get keyboards banned. I, 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 I made the effort, you know. We were playing on Switch builds. I, I got rid of all these filthy keyboards player, players they, that way. But, you know, as soon as you hand the reins off to the, the lesser experienced TOs like Rendered Spy, you know... And, Fresh faces who don't understand the pain of, of running PC events. <laughs> they just bring it back in, you know? Oh, yeah. Continue our suffering. Well, it's really swapping one bit of suffering for another bit of suffering. I, I know. Switch build obviously does have its problems, but having a tournament standard sort of setup is something oh. that I really value. We got the screenshots going. <laughs> cool. Yeah, yeah. Push the, push the game. <laughs> Make sure we really got that one. Yeah, make I'm sure gonna we got the pictures. I'm going to want a record later. <laughs> <laughs> what, are we, what are we messing with the sound settings for? <laughs> yeah, we have uh, fully customizable uh, sound output uh, devices. Can we just put the headset on? He's like, I cannot stand listening to this music. If we do not shut this off, I, I, I walk. <laughs> I will request yeah. my refund. I will never enter the tournament again. Um, yeah. Do you have a set right now? Uh, okay, yeah. Okay, can't help you. That's okay. I'll hold the fort while Conga breaks us down emotionally by playing with this, this stream. <laughs> Bad memories album. Yeah, exactly. Love to see it. Why are we messing with the sound settings? Oh god, oh god. Okay, um, I'm going to make the decision to turn that down in the audio output capture. So apologies if the stream... Apologies if the stream is wildly louder. Oh my god. He turned the audio settings up so high. <laughs> I've had to turn it down to stream a little bit. We'll see how Oh my goes. god, jeez, Louise. Okay, let's, let's turn that down a bit. Oh, Christ. Actually, wait, no, hold on. Um... Yeah, volume mixer. Okay. okay, thank you. Oh, yeah, that was uh, that was pretty rough. Do we want the audio output that high on the, the stream? Yeah, that should be fine. That I mean, fine. it's peaking down there. Okay. So, please I mean, give us some feedback um, in the chat because Conga's just walked up and destroyed the setup. Oh, <laughs> uh, classic Conga. <laughs> I'm right. never letting this man out of tournament again. I mean. Uh, so I was saying audio's a little low now. A little low, okay. Uh, audio's low or commentator's low? Can you be specific for me? Can't really hear the game at all. Okay, uh, that's okay. fine. Yeah, sure. Yeah, if we have it have it up any higher, um, your commentators will go deaf. So think of, think of your poor commentators at home. <laughs> it's alright, OC's figuring it out. Yeah, okay. We had this all configured and Congress just walked up and <laughs> Oh my goodness. The things this man does. Yeah, I reckon. You watch. He, he'll walk off the setup, come back later, and do the same thing. He'll change it again. He'll plug his keyboard in and have to restart the game three times. Yeah, he has that sort of uh, energy to him. Can I put in a request? If Conga wins this set, can we have him play his next set so we don't have to have him mess around with the keyboard anymore after that? Well, that's not for me to really decide. Oh, that's Aliana. for... Uh, cool. The TO. I don't know if he's uh, willing to make that sort of call. Yep. Eliana. Oh. Yeah, oh, yeah. Different, different character pick than we were expecting. Let us fix that. It's up. so hard with these dual mains, you know? You just, you, no warm up, you just, you just went in straight away. What if Conga plays Red Chains? Hmm. That's a consideration. Uh, it look, is. I think. Um, we have other setups. That, that set would probably have to be played off stream, unfortunately. Um, otherwise, potentially, Lichko's box controller 
might be usable by one of them if they are comfortable with uh, that. I'd say the box is different enough from keyboard that it would be... Um, be too much of a pain. Yeah. yeah. Uh, look, we have we have other setups. We'll have to play it online. So that means we, we wouldn't get that set on stream, which would kind of suck. But yeah, not a consideration that I had at all. Well, look, when you play keyboard, you're actively making a decision. Actually it, making a decision to ruin the event for others. I agree. It's a bad decision, but yeah, yeah. look, you're your own person. You can do what you like. <laughs> no, we have um, internet access on the, all the PCs, so... As funny as it is, uh, yeah, online mode. <laughs> yeah, you could. We'll get everyone spectating in uh, in the online <laughs> lobby. It, it'll be fun. That is actually something we genuinely could do, and I, I hate that I've said it out loud now. <laughs> Isn't that funny? You come to a local just to play an online game. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm kind of surprised that Tide Ray has found his footing against Conga. It's very different than how Conga has played historically. I'm not sure if he's just getting comfortable, but... Actually quite strange that he's got Aliana versus Farron as well. Yeah, I agree. I think this is normally like a Shovel Knight situation. But maybe he's thinking about warming up the Aliana for the next set, you know? Yeah, this well might be a good set to warm up in a harder matchup. Yeah, I was definitely thinking the Shovel Knight as well, but... Um, yeah, hey, we'll see. Because Conga does quite... <laughs> whatever, whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah, Conga does frequently complain about uh, Eliana's weaknesses. So... Wow. Oh, spicy. That was actually a really interesting mix-up. Like, fast following the upstrong and then going to the up tilt. I don't know if that was intentional in any way, or if it just covers the options perfectly. But yeah. it, just, it lined up so well. <laughs> oh, we've got the audience popping up for something happening oh in Smash Ultimate. Oh my god, Conker's swap characters got oh, the bit. There's an SD. Oh boy, I haven't switched. He's gone for a second. <laughs> Did he really go for three fishes? <laughs> Man's looking for some money, okay? He's, these oh are desperate god. times. You know, oh we, we nerfed the amount that the fish costs to prevent that strategy from being used, and Conga's just gone here. You know, Tide Ray might be a you know, fresh faced player, and he's just gone, yeah, I'll, I'm just going to go fish off stage three times. <laughs> he's done it again. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I mean, I, if it works, why not? I'd like to announce that Conga will no longer be welcome at any, any <laughs> events hosted by SNC. <laughs> I'm not sure if people at home can hear the Smash Ultimate scene just oh, yeah, actually they're... popping off. <laughs> Look, a hundred people crowd around the projector. <laughs> it's incredible. He really went for the gold armor horn combo. <laughs> he just he decided to pick the most useless relic. It... Why Man's... is he like this? <laughs> Man's an enigma. I don't know what's going through his mind. <laughs> okay, I um, I'm against Conga in all future sets. I will be cheering for anyone other than him. <laughs> Conga, just uh, I don't know where he's got to bully this young man. Yeah. Look, frankly, frankly, I think it's it's grounds to ban him from the next PR. I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> he's letting off some steam. <laughs> Too good. All right. Conga. Can you try to get your next set played now? Can you play your next set now? Get Ham Man. All right, I'm going to try and take a look at this uh, audio output. <laughs> the rival scene is dying, and I don't know why. All right, cool. Conger is staying on. Sweet. Actually, that's not too bad. That's not too Yeah, I, don't, I reckon it's all right. Turn the game sound way too high, and then he did that. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, he's just commenting on Conger's actions. Yeah. <laughs> Does this guy have any moral, any morals whatsoever? <laughs> he's ruined my day. He's ruined your day. He's ruined Tide Ray's day. I don't know what he's doing for the people at home, but I don't like it. <laughs> okay, this audio output. Can I apply any gain to it? Gain? Because we can hear it. Oh, are we really turning that up, are we? <laughs> I'm just messing around, man. I just want to... because. We had such a nice system that Conga yeah. just mucked up. Actually, I'll just uh, I'll remove the gain. 
And then, um... We'll see, hey. Just living his chaotic evil life. Yeah, exactly. Giga Bowser, thank you for the raid. Really great to see some support from the overseas scene. Oh, very nice. Hello, everyone. And welcome to BAM. BAM 12 <laughs> or BAM 2022 or whatever it's called. Welcome to SNC slowly getting deafened by <laughs> how, yeah, how high the music is. <laughs> oh, jeez, oh, Louise. Christ, they, we're back. We're I didn't even, even see the stage oh! fans. They just went in. <laughs> okay, okay. Wait, wait. Who have we got? We've got Hammond. Hammond. Oh, ah! oh, God. Help. Okay. Uh, this, what is this? Winner's semis. Yeah, yeah, Jeez yeah. Louise. I, I'm, I'm sure this thing's happening in the background, too. Okay, okay. <laughs> I, well, okay, we can focus on the game now. Jeez, these people. We've got to give the commentator some time. So we are on the, the Shovel Knight instead of the Aliana. Um, Conga definitely goes back and forth in the Krag matchup, what character he likes to play. Um, I was actually discussing this with him on the, the ride over this morning. You know, I, I think that the Aliana Krag matchup is really interesting, but the Shovel Knight matchup is a lot more linear for both players. Yep. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing for Congo. If he wants to make sure that he's getting his fundamentals right and just play to the real basic options and, you know, if you just do the simple things right, it goes a long way, you know? But it is going to be about the edge guard. So, Shovel Knight's up special, that anchor, has a, uh, a gap at the peak where there's no hitboxes. So that's where you're aiming for, that little dead zone. So if Handman can pressure Ooh. Conquer in ways to recover that he can hit him at the peak of the up special there, he'll be getting the edge guard every time. I like that little uh, recovery Handman did there where he <laughs> kind of uh, ledge dash back on stage while facing uh, outwards to get that yep. jab on. Nice little movement technique there. Oh, what is he doing? What is he doing? I mean, Handman's holding tight so far. This was definitely a set that could go either way. But I know um, Congo's attended a couple locals recently and he's had some good results. I mean, he is someone who's had a bit more practice than some of the, the old pros that we've seen, the veterans, just in recent times anyways. Yeah, definitely. When Conger attends, he generally uh, definitely makes some stuff happen. <laughs> it's very rare to see him outside of a, a top three situation, even like a, a top two. Hey, we'll see. It's a really interesting year for, for BAM, I think. You know, some of the, the mainstays of previous years aren't in attendance, but we got a lot of players who have been threatening the higher echelon of the PR. Yeah, I mean, it's great to see Lich go here. It's great to see Red Chains here and all these people from Random 7 Flame we're going to see in the next Oh, he's like going to pop off. Ooh. Right now, the focus is all on Handman, who, you know, is quite close to taking the first stock of this game. Congo, obviously, 116% now. Really just needs a straight hit to make this happen. And the parry gets the DI because up on the down strong. Actually, saw Red Chains in the background because he was, like, spectating and he was just, like, clapping his hands here, like, yeah. <laughs> That's the way. Right on. I don't think we have time to swap to the, the player cams. These guys oh. are going to get into a, a stage so quickly. <laughs> no, no, no. There we oh, go. No. We did it. I forgot. Handman's a thinker. Yes. He's going to thunk it out. <laughs> oh, thank God someone thinks about stage theory. Maybe this is what he's learned from me. He's learned to sit on stream and just do the little, like, chin stroke. <laughs> just really think it through, you know? Yeah, look at you. He's looking up to the heavens. You know, yep. Maybe there's an answer to look up for there. advice. <laughs> There's actually someone situated in the ceiling who's holding up Q cards for him. Just like massive <laughs> Q cards. Just yes. Go Spirit Tree! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know obviously it was Kongas, Kongas uh, stage pick here. I just want <laughs> you thinking about the bands. Oh, whoops. Yep. Uh, so fix this up. Yep. Sorry, folks, just updating the score. There we here. go. Yep. See, Beautiful. sometimes it would be nice to have a dedicated stream runner. <laughs> Imagine that. Not at all. I mean, as far as it goes for the players, this is one of the best setups we've ever had, I think. Um, we've got eight dedicated PCs from oh, Rebels yeah. for the day. Um, 
All are set up with Mayflash adapters, uh, got external speakers for all of them. It's been great. I mean, the stream setup is fantastic as always. Bit of an unfortunate it's, situation it's just though. The, the commentators up. getting let down. No stream runner. <laughs> yeah, you really got to rough it out here, you know. <laughs> Some real jank stuff happening. But uh, what would a rival stream be without a bit of jank? At the very least, we're not reporting scores on this setup, so <laughs> that's that's sorted <laughs> for the most part. <laughs> oh, Ooh, oh, geez, he's Louise. Him up. He, he's dead here, isn't he? Yeah, no, don't touch him. He's dead. He's getting the fish though. Well done. Oh, he's. American Bank, he just needs to cash in on it now. Oh, okay. So what are we thinking, Golden Armor, Horn? Uh, <laughs> that looks like Dynamo Mail, right? Hard to tell with the custom color scheme, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, Dynamo Mail, he's going for the cheeky oh, kill, boy. he's dead. Nice. Oh, Conga's rubbing his hands together. <laughs> that was a juicy stock. <laughs> Hey, that, that's what separates the, you know, the everyday crag player from your SNCs. It's all about the recovery, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, some of your recoveries are freaking monstrous. Not to toot my own horn, but I'm going to toot my own horn. <laughs> hey, man needs to be reading the, uh, the SNC bags of trick, a bag of tricks. Yes. Crag guard, you know. <laughs> no, it's a hard situation. Um, Shovel Knight and Eliana both have really good tools for edge guarding crag, so just staying aware of that and... Kongo was just doing a good job of mixing up the way he was approaching. So you notice he was delaying a lot of his um, offensive options on the pillar there. So those are things that he obviously just learned over time. You know, maybe habit of hair man that he's just abusing here. Ooh. Is it best of three? So if hair man's going to make that adaptation and really stay aware of it, he's going to have to do it now. Oh, what? God. Ooh. Well done, you saw, didn't quite nick him. Like the awareness, it was a difficult situation with the pillar there. He could have gone a couple ways about it though. But I think we need to start being careful about these pillars. You can see Handman's yeah. getting hit off him a couple times. I was thinking the same thing. It's just one of his habits, like whoever yeah. he's versing, it's like, if he's above you, he's probably going to go for that pillar. Oh, look, I mentioned it earlier. Handman's the type of player who really tries to force some interactions. Um, yeah. That's not what you want to be doing against someone like Conga and, and Shovel Knight, because... I, I think we've spoken before about the theory of, like, waiting your turn. Yes. Rivals is a game where, with how powerful the DI mechanics are, um, all that, sometimes you just got to wait your turn. Um, forcing the, the reverse situation, it can be quite dangerous, you know? The down smash was um, pretty interesting. I mean, there was no way Conga was going to die there. And effectively, Conga gets back to stage for free before Hairman does. Yeah. Just needs to Whoa. get the recovery here. That worked out really well for, for Hairman, but... Gets a cheeky F Stocks smash. are evened up, and Conga's gone straight for the Dynamo Mail again. Interesting. I don't see a lot of Shovel Knights go for the Dynamo Mail. I'm not sure if this is like a crack specific thing, or Conga's just really feeling it. Didn't quite get the DI mix up on the neutral there. Another right. pillar interaction, okay. I do know that this is another matchup that Conga really doesn't like. I, I feel like a few of our players, you have vendettas against Craig. Yep. Hairman has found his footing again and suddenly getting... Yeah, the game slowed right down. I mean, Conga yeah. just stood there menacingly. He really just let him walk up and jab him, didn't he? It's not exactly what you want to be doing, giving up so much space and just standing oh, still in the corner. Oh, forward strong was a bit... How you doing? <laughs> okay. Oh, nice a really trade. good trade. Damn. You don't see that trade very often. Like, normally you're trying to use your projectiles to snuff out that forward special, things like that, but worked out really well for Handman there, and he's still gaining some ground on this last stock. Oh, the rock pull could... Oh, right. that was a nice up smash. Worked out in his favor. Just use the Dynamo Mile, chase that up. And now Conga's got another another tool in his bag. So he got the uh, <laughs> mobile gear. Hey, man, just parry back at him. But really feels like Conga isn't parrying um, a lot of those uh, downby shards. Well, I feel is... like Conga's getting the momentum again all of a sudden. A lot of quick chains there, so the percentage is 
Racking up a little bit more slowly oh on Handman. I know Handman only needs a few straight hits to even it out, which we've just seen come into play. Ooh. Oh, oh my goodness. We've got some pop-offs in the audience. Oh, wow. Risky option, but when he goes for it. Love the handshake. Good uh, sportsmanship. Good stuff to Handman, though. Yeah, I don't think Conga's quite happy with that <laughs> one. Well, look, he's a keyboard player. His opinion doesn't really count for much. I, I dread to look at it. But can we maybe look at the bracket really quickly and see where our keyboard players are? Uh, <laughs> um, okay, they're going to be in top 12. Oh, God, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Red Chains is there. Uh, where is Conga? No, okay, can't do show projected. Well... Bracket one. Yeah, okay. Okay, I don't think they'll be playing there. I don't know where that's going to come from, though. Have we reported the sets for... Uh, Just no, report we the scores really quickly. Yep. Because I, I need to know this ahead <laughs> of time. Uh, Congo yep. Handman. Yep. Two, one. I'm nervous, folks. <laughs> is this really going to happen? This could be the end of SNC. <laughs> oh, Christ. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Right, who, who do I need to talk to about organizing this this upset? If oh, uh, both Conga and Red Chains win their first set in top 12, they play each other in top 8. Who seeded this tournament? Yeah, what the oh, hell? Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, This is, this is going to be like a first for, for locals. We've never had... Two keyboard players meet up in the bracket. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are they seriously playing? Can we wait what, one moment? These people not giving no. the commentators any notice that they're ready to go. Jeez Louise. Okay. Uh, let's go. Playing Edelis. Tied Ray Claren. There we go. And what is this? This is... Losers round four. So we got two sets of losers round four left in the pool. Um, well, looks I like we're, we're going. Okay, <laughs> geez. Oh. I, it's, uh, I think I gave him the gesture away, but maybe he interpreted that <laughs> as like, yeah, you're good, you're good. Okay, let's get rid of these, uh, these win counts. <laughs> this is another set where... I haven't been able to show the versus screen or the, the play yeah, game no, immediately. No, they're just straight it. Yeah, into whatever. it. All those fancy thrills, it's uh, nothing. Don't need them. <laughs> okay, all right. Just people being ungrateful. You know, you, you work so, so hard on the, the commentary and the stream and everything. We try and do our yeah. best. Oh. And then these guys. Oh, these guys. These, these fellas. <laughs> they just go ahead and play. Where's the respect? Tisk. Tisk. I know we briefly got the, uh, the shout out to Dusk in the chat, so. Lichko, obviously the, the founder of Dusk, and making strides in not just New Zealand, but also some Australian players here as well. Red Chains also on the Dusk roster. Ooh. But those guys are you know doing a lot for each other in terms of not just you know your, your gameplay stuff, but it's also the mental side oh, of things. Yeah. It's, um, there's a lot of good talent in Dusk at the moment. I mean, yeah. some of their commentators are absolutely fantastic. Oh, Trash to your human. I haven't been able to meet the man yet. He is here today. But, oh. What a joy to commentate with him. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it would be fantastic if we could get him to commentate for Riles, but I, unfortunately, I don't think that'll be a possibility. He's already commentating for three other events, I think. That man's yeah. voice after this weekend, I cannot imagine. <laughs> this is more comfortable than we'd seen Lichko be previously. Hello. <laughs> wait, wait, so pool two is running as pool one is going. Yeah. Okay. I know, yeah, yeah, okay. Pool two's been called. Oh boy, okay, let's um <laughs> Okay. That's okay. Yeah, this is losers. Uh, winner of this makes top 12. Apologies for the slight confusion on the stream here. We've been told a couple things. Yeah, we're going to have to find two new people to get on 
comms. No clue who that's going to be. Um, in fact, if this is Lichko's oh, last... Oh, we're not, we're not dying from a jab, are we? Oh, boy. I mean, just unfortunate there. Um, look, I, I was saying last set, I just think Lichko's probably warmed up a bit more now, so a little bit more refined. Um, and I think a bit more comfortable against uh, Tidebro. Who... Actually almost making top 12, despite us never hearing of him. Uh, who is this man? <laughs> I reckon. Like, how has he made it this far through Bracket? Do you think he comes from, like, Western Australia or one of those other regions that <laughs> I'm not familiar with? It's very possible. I haven't seen Barney yet. He's someone I'm interested in meeting. Yeah. Because I think he's someone who is projected to make top 12. And he could honestly cause a couple upsets here, too. Ooh. <laughs> Let's go get in a lot of mileage out of these uh, cheeky nares. I'm telling you, it's just the tempo that he plays at. I, I find <laughs> it so strange to watch. I'm not sure why. It, it, it always stands out to me when I see him play, though. Oh, wow. Just uh, nice clean. That. Yep. Should be happy with that. That guarantees let's go spot the top 12 this afternoon. Excellent. One more set coming in for full one. And then we'll be saying goodbye. Cherry and Fico, it should be. Unless they're playing already? No, they didn't get Fico ahead of time. <laughs> oh boy, this might be a, a little bit of a wait. <laughs> so, got any more pasta cooking tips? Oh, no, we can't. <laughs> I mean, I can tell you about my green curry, though. <laughs> Ooh. That's, that's one that a few of you haven't tried yet. I, I've, um... Kind of got like uh, some key dishes that I've just kind of perfected for myself. Right. And I just rotate between them when people come around. What are around the, now. the key dishes? So I make a really good risotto. Okay. Like a pumpkin risotto that's quite Ooh. nice. Sounds um, nice. Got the like the chicken carbonara, which isn't really a traditional carbonara because it has like the cream and everything. It's, okay. But I can do a traditional carbonara. I think that's divisive amongst people. My missus hates the traditional carbonara. <laughs> Tell us about the new battlegrounds. Oh yeah, get some Hearthstone going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are the uh, pro strats? Pro strats. Yeah, the, uh, the top <laughs> tips. Oh, For those of like you don't know, I'm I'm often in Discord <laughs> calls just with you know mates, and we stream each other's games. So Hearthstone Battlegrounds is one that I've been playing quite a bit of recently. It means I'm neglecting the rivals scene, you know. But hey, uh, you'll be getting a stream from me at some point soon. New patch means a uh, boring frame data stream is due. Let me get through uh, BAM weekend first, though. <laughs> I doubt we have anyone from you know, international players, NA, left in the chat. But I imagine that's probably the only place some of you would know me from, just the frame <laughs> data stuff. <laughs> Man, some of those streams are just so incredibly boring. Just I don't know so how, incredibly boring. I don't know how you do it. Yeah. How are you such a boring man? I, I, I work at the Boring Factory. Hello? Yeah, we know. We're finishing pool one. This is like the last set. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll get you on comms like as soon as this finishes. So... Oh, yeah, up next set. So this is the last set of pool one. Yeah. I don't know who we'll have uh, Lichko commentate with. I'm thinking maybe Handman. That was a joke. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll, calm down. We'll see who read this <laughs> photo. Gets going, you know. And more important is to get someone comfortable. Yes. <laughs> I mean... Uh, oh, no. That's the wrong one. People <laughs> at home aren't going to get... You know, as talented individuals like you and myself, as entertaining, as thoughtful, analytical. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, wait. Game one started. Hold on. <laughs> I'm oh, only, I'm only dear. Joking. Unfortunate SD from FICO to start with. Oh, no, not the, oh, not the DI in on the Nair. So you can definitely see the difference in, like, tempo from Cherry Ooh. and Lichko. It's, it's a lot faster pace, the combos. There's a lot less waiting in between. Um, so taking advantage of some of Edelis' faster options. Um, that's just something that I don't see Lichko do as much, but the neutral is where Lichko really shines. Yeah, definitely. It's... Always good to see the, the differences in how these two approach Edelis. Yeah, I think I think Cherry's just a more well-rounded player in that regard, but you won't see him going for the deep stuff that yeah. Lichko does for sure. Well, I mean, that's just all thanks to Lichko's experience with fighting games in general. He's Yeah, uh, no, he'll, he'll go for the risky stuff and he'll make it look extraordinary. But Cherry, 
Jerry, Jerry. Jerry is a player who's after my own heart. He's gone for the bread and butter, and he's making it work. You know, if you execute the basics well, you can get really far. Sometimes that's all you need. Just oh, the, yeah. uh, good old basics. Well done. Yep. Nice and clean. That's a comfortable three stock. Jerry's out here trying to put us back on track, you know? Oh, yeah. He saw that we were behind schedule. He's just like, yep. Yeah, this is like a nice, <laughs> quick game. Oh, nice, quick bands. Love to see it. <laughs> and straight back in. I actually know that Cherry quite likes Guru Tree, so this counter pick probably won't phase him that much. I know it's it's quite good for Rano having that smaller blast zones. So you can really make UC aerials off stage and Yeah. Character like Edelus, it's really easy to pressure them off stage once you burn those resources too. But Yeah, but it's a question of if Pyco knows that oh, much look, about edge guarding. Cherry's just got the experience advantage here. Ooh. He's someone who is, you know. Blood, sweat, tears, lived and breathed this game. Oh, yeah. For a good while now, and you can see... Those best of 100s, man, they, uh, they really <laughs> they, change they, they pay off after a while. <laughs> <laughs> after the first 40, first 100s, you start yeah. really seeing results. <laughs> I actually don't know what their sort of uh, training regime is like. Um, something that I used to encourage back in the day is play 50 games and then watch all 50 Ooh. back to back which sounds very painful but if you're sitting there with your sparring partner talking about every single game that you played you start learning a few things that's if you really want to get good quick though <laughs> well this is the sort of stuff you did oh, with oh he went deep with uh, Jet himself right yeah really early early days you know what time period would this have been 2016 oh gosh it would have been yeah 2016 I imagine wow but hey, I, I was still fresh to <laughs> fighting games. Rivals has been my, my first experience in an eSport. That's actually not true. It's my first fighting game eSport. Not sure if anyone uh, is a fan of Awesome Noughts. <laughs> awesome Noughts? Yeah. Jeez Very, Louise. very little known fact. I was, I was actually really good at Awesome Noughts before I started playing Rivals. That was my first first look because I was really highly rated in Australia for some time. Kind of forget that. There's your SNC law for the day. Damn. Taking over the tournament wow. stream to, <laughs> to give you the facts, you know? These are why. Just Je shaking his head. He can't <laughs> believe that I've just taken over the stream in this way. <laughs> oh, these are why the viewers tune in to hear about the uh, SNC cooking tips, the SNC yeah, half yeah, yeah. Uh, tips. The law, man. Do you remember anything that happened in that game? Uh, well, I don't think I, I don't think I've been watching <laughs> for the past half hour. So <laughs> sometimes the SNC <laughs> law is just more important than what's going on right now. I oh, really good to see that Cherry's work's been paying off. You know, uh, he didn't lose the side top twelve, so he's got his work cut out for him. But he's definitely going to be one of those players that could make an upset, upset here and there. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm excited to see how he goes. Uh, moving forward in bracket. But we'll check that out as we go. Um, I think we are hopping off. Uh, yeah. Osu and I will be playing our own pool now. So it's been good speaking to, uh, yep. to all of you. Pleasure and commentating this morning. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe we'll be, we'll be back on at some point. I don't know. Depends how we're going in bracket. I'll, I'll um, throw some sets so I can get back in the commentator's chair. <laughs> it's, it's Very nice. For the, for the greater good, you know. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> I mean, we're behind schedule as is. So yeah, it'd, it'd just be good for everyone. Anyway. We'll be right back with some new commentators. See you all then. Thank you.
Yo, what is up, guys? My name is Lichko. I'm here. It's BAM12, Rivals of Aether, Pool 2. I'm so happy to be here with my good friend, Red Chains. Yo, what's going on, people? We are here, BAM. It's going to be a good one. Hell yeah. I'm excited, man. Pool 2. Pool 2 seems to have some interesting matches. The most notable, in my opinion, is going to be the Frost versus Renard Spy one. I feel like recently, Frost has been bringing it back, but who knows? Renard might be able to clutch it out once again. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, that'll be interesting. So Frost and Renard, you said? Yeah. That's, uh, I mean, that can go either way. I'm pretty sure it has gone both ways before. Yeah, it has, but recently, you know, Frost has really been taking it. So it'll be interesting to see. But we sure. first up, we have Osu versus the Maclio. Osu being a long-time standout within the community should be great to see. Mm -hmm. And the Maclio, I think, is newer to the scene. Yeah, I, I haven't heard of him before. Yeah, this so is the first time as well. Love, love the, <laughs> love the round one, to be, uh, to be Osu. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> hey, how else do you like it? All right, it looks like we're starting. We are indeed starting. Um, so. Yeah, here we have it. Uh, Demaclio versus Osu. Osu already putting in the pressure with the Thash attacks. Got him off stage. Osu creating just so much pressure. With so. Okay. He makes it back though. Osu letting it slip a little bit and that edge guard. Usually Osu, especially on the maple, known for the edge guards. Really yeah, for rare sure. that you ever see him slip anything like that. Oh, what a good but float. Boy, that, that was a great well. chase. Nice down smash, good Diana as well. Mm -hmm. Really surviving those attacks. Absolutely, and, and the, we get the fear. purple. Nice. Okay, we're getting into this now. Oh, got some Clarina pressure okay, coming Dima. through. You love to see it. But In the Pom dash attack is too strong. Interesting to note, uh, Osu switching from Maple to Pom, I think full time. Yeah, I mean, he's played it at, I'm pretty sure, every local since yeah, release. Yeah, exactly, right? Um, so definitely, definitely going real on the palm grind. Really good edge guard by Osu. Really abusing the lack of tools that, uh, what is it, Claren has. Yeah, that's what you got to do against the Claren, man. You got to wait, exactly. wait that that big hitbox. You know. They have the good spacing, but as soon as you get them off stage, it's it's a very much a struggle. For sure. Okay. And F Smash taking the yeah, stock. Yeah, with the tipper as well. Really well done by Demo. Yeah, love to see it. We are getting a lot of tippers. Yeah, actually. Um, I definitely want to see more of these combos get extended further. Just um, a little bit of Osu's getting right away now. with a lot here. Osu is not getting punished at all. I think Demon would have to slow something down for it to actually... For... It's a matter when Osu misses. Okay. Punish that dash attack. What are we going for? Nice. Oh, he landed but side B. The patience is good, man. Mm. The patience is good. Osu just really consistent with this edge guard. Mm -hmm. Already seen him multiple times this game. And that's game one. Going straight to Osu. For sure, man. All right, Osu taking game one. We're getting back into this stage striking. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on Pom's uh, stages that she likes? Because I wouldn't have really much of a clue, with her, to be honest, since Pom is still like such a new character. Yeah, I mean, I'm not really sure. I think I think uh, really high platforms are great for Palm. Yeah, because of the floating mechanic and uh, everything like yeah, that. Yeah, like Aramata is great, I'm pretty sure. Mm. Um, also, really free recovery, so um, you don't really have to have the big walls or anything like that. I think the FD pick 2 is a really good stage choice due to the fact that like it really limits Clarence's movement since she re he relies so much on the... Oh, like, what are we doing here? Okay. We made it back with the back air. Oh my god, we're nice going for float. it. Nice float. Nice tip off. Wow, that was, a, that was a good way to come down with the button, man. Yeah. That was good. Oh, oh nice. On to Osu. Got the Getting fair. that purple fair. Really strong move. Fair is. The no neutral is strong, man. Oh, okay. Rolling away. Oh, nice read on the DI. I mean, on the tech. All right. Oh, back air. Up tilt. What are we going for? With the fair. We're back to neutral. And it's tough. I mean, the whiff punishing with the dash attack is really rough. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's like a vacuum of the move. It's so good. It's like, imagine if Raster F Smash was just like a normal. Yeah. 
Okay. Nice text by Dima, but okay, unfortunately, the... Arisu is really good at following them. Especially with all that Maple experience. Okay. Boom. Boom. Alright, not getting the three piece. Nice tipper off. Oh, we're board. juggling! Dash tech. Oh, uh, whoa! Really good patience, good parry as well by nice the Dima. Parry. Okay, FDL going into the fair, got the notes on deck. Dash attack. That's unfortunate. Fair. Struggles so much with the recovery due to how POM works. And, you know, that's Osu with the cert. Yeah, Osu. Well done, well done to the players. Yeah, getting that 2 0 for sure. Mm. Good stuff from Osu, man. Good stuff from Dima as well. Was doing some really nice stuff with it. It's good to see. I mean, he had he had some good ideas. He, yeah. You know, like, oftentimes there was a tech chase situation. He was waiting a little bit. You can mm. clearly tell he's got the fundamentals. He knows what he's doing. It's just execution wise, he's not there 100%, but hey, we'll, he will get there. Yeah. I reckon if he keeps playing, he's going to be Absolutely. a solid player. Love mm. to see the new players coming in. Always, showing always. us what they got. And do we have rendered spy oh, coming up? He's oh, he's the Rendered set. versus Frost? Yeah, rendered versus Frost. Okay, on this, is, right now. this is hype. I'm liking this one. So again, it used to be Rennard used to take all the sets like whenever they played, but as of recently, Frost has actually been the one to take them. So it should be interesting to see where we end up with this. All right, yeah. Players coming up to the stand. Rendered Spy versus Frost and Pyro. Uh, Rendered Spy, of course, going to be on the Ori. Hey, that's the rendered. Um, if I can find this character on the damn <laughs> thing. And we've got Maple. Yeah, the Maple on the other side. A very, very fast matchup between the like some of the fastest characters in the game. All right. So yeah, when is round two? Mm. The TO is still yelling at people. <laughs> Even when he's got to play, he's still got to TO everything, eh? <laughs> okay, so it looks like, looks like I have to swap the names. Over, do I? Yeah, he's going to be on the left. Damn, bro. Swapping names. Oh, it's that easy. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, Daddy, I think you have to retype it all. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's a good stream tool. Yeah, it's a shout out to Redick, bro. I've done a bunch of commentary on, on Redick stream. Right. Like, he does like EU crew battles. Oh, he's and the stuff. EU one, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's a homie, man. Love mm. Redick. Shout out to him. I'm um, holding it down for the fellas over in EU. Hey. Weekly Don't exhibition matches, crew oh, battles, okay, okay. all that good Sounds stuff. Sounds like a good time then. Yeah, man, it is. I uh, got to meet a bunch of people doing comms for that, of course. And hey, EU has some lovely talent that I've seen with their top players and everything like that. He is legit, man. He is legit. Mm. I mean, not as legit as New Zealand, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, New Zealand's right. just a power region, eh? <laughs> but it looks like we're going into stage striking here. Both players giggling and laughing. What fun. I think I gotta give yeah. his hand a little massage before the match starts. Frost and Pyro has to ban out the Tower of Heaven because that is Renard's favorite stage. Yeah, man. All right, going into this though, game one pulls round two. Uh, this, I mean, this is a stacked game to have round two. Oh, hundred percent. What kind of TO did this see? <laughs> I mean, that's <laughs> just crazy. Now we got Frost and Pyro. Oh, oh nice God, chase nice with the. Rap. Yeah, with the rat man, the too rat. Too bad I couldn't get too much follow up on him though. Thing was a little yeah, nervous yeah. that it missed originally. Oh, rendered. <laughs> Go for a cheeky back air, but that. Uh, oh, oh my god, the F tilt sending okay. him to the left. Rendered going for the there. bash, but sadly gets beaten. Oh! In the early oh, 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 what an up Frost. smash! Frost and Pyro. He's feeling himself. Okay, we get back here. Oh, oh the roll timed perfectly. Yeah, that was, a, <laughs> that was a little bit rough, man. A little bit rough. But we got there in the end. Wow, nice maneuvering. Rendered doing Around really good on parrying the lilies that Frost has been setting up. I wonder how Frost is going to have to play around it. Okay, Rendered. Okay. The nice charge. Nice yeah, parry. The up good smash. Good job. Good job. That move is so strong, man. So strong. Especially with the sign charge up as well with it. Oh, mm -hmm. It's too good. For sure. Rendered just throwing other projectiles. Yeah, up here. Up here. Fair. Dash attack. Okay, Rendered. Oh, goes for a little bit of a uh, sign Short charge edge guard, but... Oh, yeah. 
And Renner just keeping the center stage so well, so clean. Frost is in a bad position. Oh! Oh, and he gets back cleanly. Was not expecting the super quick side B to come up. Okay. Renner creating a lot of pressure with it. Down in the back here. Bash, fair, oh, oh, and the bash! The bash, let's go. Let's that's go, Renner Spy. Rendered. He okay. always goes for those as well. That's the crazy yes. thing. Oh! Oh! The oh. The kill? Nope. All the resources. Okay, he's back. He's back. Up here, up here, up here. Fair! Oh my god. The combos are real. Nice up, up air here, chains Frost, from the Frost. Frost kind of going in right now, man. That was a little bit scary. Frost has to be able to bring this back. Oh, that DI is a little unfortunate. Oh, the F-Smash! Such, such an easy edge got by rendered. It's going to be tough. Yeah. And Bash. And that's, yeah, just, that's game one. Yeah, that was so well perfect. Done to, the, well the done DI to both in, of them. Bro. Yeah, Frost was Frost mm. was bringing it at the end, man. Yeah, Fro Frost was on the way to a comeback until that unfortunate uh, miss in I, not miss input, until an unfortunate interaction which lost him the edge, like forced him to an edge. An guard. unfortunate rendered spy moment. <laughs> you know, it happens, man. Ah, oh, it's unfortunate, mm. but we're getting back into it, man. The bands we got Spirit Tree, Aramada. And blazing hideout. I feel like with all the good stages between the two characters, not many two that you really want to ban besides non-comfort stages. They both really like the same, to be honest. Yeah, exactly, right? Um, a triple pond I love on both of these characters. The rush on archetype really just favors the rush down any archetype. type of stage. Yeah, for sure. The double up air coming from the Frost, going for the high recovery. Easily getting back oh, on stage. Frost is going to relax, man. Uses double jump already. And, and, and oh, like, oh, no! Didn't hold jump long enough Whee! to actually come up. <laughs> We're spinning. Renan's got a lot of momentum on his side for this. Oh, he reads the double jump, gets the forward air. Well done, Frost and Pyro. Absolutely, man. This is just the start of a comeback, I see. Really nice side to be back into the stage. I've got to be careful, Renan, though. Where's Renan the text? The Where's jab? the text? Frost and Pyro Ooh. can't be having these human errors, man. Bro. <laughs> Not now! <laughs> not, these, not these human errors. <laughs> the human errors, man. The human errors are real. Oh, nice. Gets a wrap into Lily. Too unfortunate oh! to not get much off the Oh, that DI's rough! Ooh. Oh, what a spike as well! And he yeah, can't make that back. that's just it. No hope Last for Frost and Pyro. Last for Frost and Pyro, potentially. Why are we spinning? I think Renard had picked that up recently. Just to, like, throw off their opponents. Pretty strange. Ooh, oh my nice god, Renard's by going out for the big plays. Frost, no punish. You gotta punish that. No! The SD oh, from Frost and Pyro. That is you so hate to see it. Man. Unlucky. Damn, bro. Rendered Spy coughing over there on his little staff t shirt. <laughs> Renard's fight with the <laughs> nice 2-0 above Frost and Pyro, really bringing it back from what it's been recently. Another nice showing from Frost and Pyro as well. Unfortunate, mm -hmm. unfortunate uh, missing point on the last stock there. Yeah, that was... Getting a side view off the stage. That was pretty rough. Yeah. Pretty rough. Really unfortunate. Mm -hmm. um, we'll be curious to see who we have up next. Yeah, not too sure well, who we're having on stream, but you know it's just going to be a good game. What's the pool looking like? Who do we? Uh, have? Let's take a look yeah. at this pool right now. So of course, rendered spy SNC going up. SNC versus rendered spy most likely Ooh. is going to be the next game on the stream. That's a set. That's a solid set. Yes, it is. God damn. Okay, and on the other side. Oh, seven being. Oh no. Oh no. What happened? No, not this match. Uh. Wait, Osu versus Alistair. Oh, oh okay. no. <laughs> Frame for my boy Alistair. <laughs> Osu wanting to be the New Zealand Slayer, <laughs> as in his words, wanting to take down Alistair with everything he's got. Bro, this is so sad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gonna Osu make Alistair come back to where he came Osu from. The words from Osu, the man himself, wants bro. Wants to beat him so hard that it deports back to New Zealand. <laughs> Get back to New Zealand <laughs> where you can actually win games in this bracket. God damn. We'll see though, man. Alistair, he's got the fundamentals. He is a fantastic Smash Ultimate player. One of the best in he's a player OCE, can, he's man. A player that can and there's my man right there, walking up to the setup. Let's go, Alistair. Let's go. You like to see it. 
So we have Alistair playing either the Olympia or the Claren, right? Should be Claren, yeah. yeah. I, I imagine it'll be Claren. I don't, I don't think he wants to pull out the Olympia just yet in another major. But mm. I feel like it's going to be coming eventually, you know? Yeah, for sure. Um, whoa. We're shaking. Shaking the tables. Oh, table's getting bumped. You like to see it. And we have Osu on Pom, it will be. Yeah, looks like it, man. Yeah. Looks like it. Unless he pulls out the Crag. Ah, oh, you hate to see it. He's gone the Pom. Unlucky. The Pom, man. The Pom. The Pom is real. And Alistair should be going to Claren, as he always does. He actually liked to pull it out, uh, um, pull the Olympia out against Glaceon, I remember. And then those two had a duel of mm -hmm. those two characters for the entire set, which was interesting. Yeah, New Zealand has sure. some good talent. Let's see if New um, Zealand's legit, man. We we love rivals. Yeah. We do love rivals. Alistair being one of the reps, uh, the only rep in pool two, right? Um, the and only you're the only New Zealand rep in pool one. Yeah. 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 Okay. Only two. Only two New Zealanders uh, playing rivals today. Hey, hopefully both of them can get top twelve. We're just gonna see how it has to go. How it has to go. Mm -hmm. um, so we got Osu on the palm. Yeah, man. Osu yep. is on the palm. Uh, yeah, looks like Alistair is on the Claren. Mm. So we're going to need to swap these names over. I'm getting mixed. Uh, this is still round two, yes? Yes. Yes. Uh, just looking at this bracket here for some updates. <coughs> uh, it looks like going to loser side, we have Teehee, Frost and Pyro, and Barney. Mm. I do think Barney can make the comeback through his loser's run, though. Should be interesting seeing uh, how he goes. Have? I mean, loser of... So loser of this set... Uh, we'll be playing Gravy Dice, and the winner okay. of that will versus Barney in loser round three if he wins his uh, loser round two set, which I, I have confidence in him. Mm -hmm. He's representing WA basically as his, you know, the number one there. Should be good to see how it goes. Yeah, man. I mean, I think Alistair could probably take Barney. I would say that would be fairly. Should be a good set skill. to watch. Yeah, yeah. definitely, yeah. definitely a good set. We need to get that one on stream. For sure. I feel like they're very similar skill level. I, I feel like Barney has some. Uh, what is it, advantages that would beat out Alistair? Mm. Like, I, I feel like Bunny has a better patience yeah. game than Alistair, but I feel like Alistair really can carry combos. And oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, he's got the fundamentals, man. Yeah. But Rocking the rocks, is, the rocks Osu, Osu is always a tough opponent, bro. 100%. <laughs> it's never an easy match with Osu. Never, never, never. Um, but we're getting into this now. I mean, Alistair, I mean, I'd like to see him wave dashing, man. He didn't do that before. Um, like, last time I played him. You know, no wave dashing. I'm just walking around. I'm nearing. Yeah. You love to see the improvement. Oh, man. the unfortunate well. DI early stock by the that's, Osu. Well yeah, done with the fair. I don't know if he really has to deal with very many palms in Wellington either. I don't I, think I there are any yeah. palm players. Um, I think Unladen plays it sometimes, but definitely mm. most fr most of the time sticks to the to the forge burn. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, and oh, you look. see this combo game coming out now. Oh, the tipper. Nice tip on the down air. Unfortunately, could not follow it too much. Osu being able to turn it back into his yeah, favor. Currently up rocking up a huge percent with this float mechanic as well. Yeah, Vincent is Keeping out. him safe distance away. He's doing good, man. And we see Osu being able right. to whiff on it really well. Nice side B by the Claren. Okay. Oh. 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 If they Okay, we're trying to whip punish here. I like to see oh, it. Nice the F tipper. smash, Tipper, let's go. And what we can already see between the first and second set of Osu is this Claren really knows how to use the tools to get oh. back to the stage with edge guarding. Unfortunately, so the DI rough. isn't as good as the first first set. But mm -hmm. again, not being able to die so easy to edge guarding is a very important tool against uh, against Pom. Absolutely. Seeing okay. The fun zone is down, and we're getting the parry instantly. Down tilt, nair, dash attack, oh, bear backwards, nice combo. up air, it's still going the, the back floor. air, the up air. Oh, oh my <laughs> god, what a combo, Osu. Holy shit, let's go, Osu. Are you serious? Osu, undeniably taking game one. Unbelievable finish to that game. 
Brother. And that, that What was that, man? Holy. That's crazy. This early in the bracket, you gotta be popping off like that, man. Hey, you gotta show you gotta show off what you're Bro. you're gonna be getting later on, you know? Yeah, I mean we're in this rock wall. I'm not sure how I feel about this either way. I mean pong. I think I think rock wall is just really good for the pong. It's a yeah. lot easier to get people off the stage, and when they're off on rock wall especially, it's kinda just a lost stock. Yeah, it can be very tough. Yeah. I mean so many mix ups in the entry art as well with the uh, the floats. The not notes, only the floats, the, the flight layout as well it doesn't allow for many mix ups because you can cover everything. Alistair Oh! Okay. Oh, nice tech by the Yosu. Oh my bro! Bro, he went up there! He was he was there! A little bit of nerves coming in. Alistair has a really good lead currently. Maybe be able to take the first lock of this match. Rockwell could be the, the counter pick he was needing. Okay. Oh, nice DI by the Yosu. the F mash. Gets an okay, yeah, that's a, that's a good utilization of that, yep. for sure. Just completely denies projectile game by Osu from now on, until that's over. Okay, nice tech chase. So, oh, he had an oh. opportunity to do something there. Oh, nice. let's go, the two-piece. Like Alistair it. is taking the first stock. Oh, but Osu could quickly reverse this. Never mind, he's not able to follow up. Okay, the dash tag oh, the fair. Welcome to rock, this will be the rock wall moment. That should have yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's oh. unfortunate. There's not much you could have done there due to it being such a small like yeah. stage on the sides. It's really rough, man. Last zone's it's really unfortunate. Okay. The up air goes for another one. Wow, what a good way to land onto Alistair. Nice tech. Being able to dodge the fair coming out from Alistair. Dash second to fair. This okay, is just fair. seeing how the uh Back how air. the matchup goes. Oh goes for the F smash. Alright. We're hanging in there. Another Ooh, one. That is rough. Well. What a reversal, man. In the lead now. Strong Alistair lead was too. doing so good, but lost all momentum after that uh, initial spawn uh, protection. He was, man. Oh, and the up air. Back air. Gets the float. Oh, nice down landing into down there, bro. He's still going. Back air. Up air. Up beat. No, nice parry. Not twice in a set, surely. Oh, almost. Almost one. For sneaky, oh, sneaky four. man. Trying to go for that. So rude. Dash attack being such a good move on Pom. It just allows so many opportunities. Nice, nice drift from Alistair. Oh, Unfortunately, yeah. it doesn't matter. Good showing from Alistair in that second game. Really performed so much better than the yeah, first man. one. Yeah, man. Not bad. Not bad at all. Hey. You, you love to see it. You love to see New Zealand performing. <laughs> For sure. Um, so, we'll go the bracket out. <coughs> of course, Osu's going to move on. It had, <laughs> had to be done. Man. Man. That is, that is, that is rough. Osu wanting to deport. Might have to, back might have to, to take out country. the back for that one later, bro. I don't know. You got to watch out for Lichko. <laughs> He's coming for you, Osu. I don't know. No one so disrespects Wellington. Next up. No one. Next up, we have... SNC versus Jack, uh, versus Rendered Spy. Okay. This, this is going to be interesting because uh, Rendered Spy has been in the talks for a decent while now about ha having this new Crag tech and being able to beat Crag in a much more efficient way with a lot more opportunities uh, like to do it, right? Well, this is the ultimate test, man. <laughs> yeah, th this will be Straight the showing. Up, this is the Crag. This is the Crag of the scene. Does so much for rivals in terms of frame data generally and just just an overall really good player. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Since he should just play Sylv. <laughs> <laughs> it automatically would just win the bracket. I mean, it would win the set. Uh, yes, that is R7 and Jet in the back. It is. Um, okay, Renaissance is, is definitely not playing Crag. <laughs> that would be pretty funny, though. That would be. That's the tech. He plays Crag. Uh, we still have game one, one as uh, rendered. Oh. My bad. Yeah. Also, switch sides, or? So uh, I think rendered's yeah, on my yeah, 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 for sure. Switch sides on that one. <laughs> SNC obviously being the Crag, understanding, wants to try and bring rendered into such a slower gameplay from what I've been told. Wants to just really teach him neutral in the set. I mean, the battle of the TOs, bro. Battle of the TOs, eh? New versus old, man. How generation difference, we'll see. Which one of them will be crying themselves to sleep tonight? <laughs> <laughs> so, 
just getting right. some warmers? I don't know what happened. Maybe uh, control maybe issues? Maybe some buttons. Oh. <laughs> Restarting. I guess it seems we're working now. Okay, a perfect, perfect start for SNC, yeah, man. Yeah, SNC getting the rock placement, enabling the downbeat from the platform, which is something he really likes to do. Gotta love it, man. Mm. Okay. A nice parry on that. Parries it again. Oh, Ooh, a nice good way to get some, uh, yeah, you know, some of that advantage. Uh, and utilizing it very well. Okay, SNC with the fair. Nice. nice up, up air. Air. Okay. Up tilt, up, up air. Up air, bread and butter. You like to see it? Rock's up there, what's it doing? Man, it's always it's always weird seeing SNC placed rock. Because <laughs> it looks like it's just like a miss input. Yeah, but hit it always it, like comes up as a good place here. <laughs> what's he going to do with yeah. this? <laughs> nice forward air, really denying the platinum movement. Oh my the god, jabs. getting a little bit Does sneaky, oh the my god. That is unfortunate. That he still makes it back to stage though. I'm interested to see this new uh, bash tech that mm. uh, Renard was talking SNC about. SNC really struggling to get rock as I say that. Renard now just forfeits rock back to him whenever he is able to Ooh. pull it. Renard actually bringing this back. This stock is going on for a lot longer. He's getting a lot more of a lead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was, that was really good, man. Um, oh, unfortunately, just barely man. missed. Would have been the stock there. Could have. See, okay. SNC going for these forward airs. Not really hitting any of them, though. Oh, yeah, Renner, big dash tag. Renner playing a lot slower. It's really making SNC miss a lot. Oh, oh nice Renner taking the first stock up as well. Up is a kill move. Up is not a kill move. It up. does not purple. It just did. Fair is a kill move. Nah. <laughs> Renard, oh, oh, Renard okay. Using the invincibility on that to get, rack up some percent. Oh, is Renner going to carry him across the stage? Oh my god, oh the downer! Okay, we're still going. Luckily, the platform is able to save him. From and we're purple. still going! The bash that's got a purple essence is off the screen. Rendered spy. Let's go. I, I we're hanging in here. Up here. The, the platform still off the screen. Interesting oh side be off the stage. I mean, I don't really think there's much you can do about it. I guess not, because the only recovery option is the up B. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, oh my really god. Really nice rogue. I think Renner wanted to bash it, but just, just kind of missed. Okay. Oh, oh my Renner god, what bash. a commitment. Rendered spy. Really going for the big plays. Does not pay off this time. That entire thing cannot actually hit on the drift out, which is what SNT must have done to be able to dodge it. Oh, okay. nice read on the tech. Really well done. SNT bringing this back completely. All right. Nice up tilt into up air again. This could yeah, be nice up air. a lot closer than anything. Renner really looked Ooh. like he was in the lead, but kind of losing it. I have a tip. I have a tip. Okay. Um, hold it down, Red Chains. I'll I don't get know how you. To work I'll get you a cook. SNT with a really nice land into down smash, being able to catch out on the tech. The tech roll, which delays him getting up. And now we are getting Osu right. onto comms because Lichka has to go do a set. <laughs> with, uh, oh, he's a busy man. Sure. Um, I have no idea how long I'll be able to stay on comms, but you know I can finish off this set at least. Surely to the end of the set. Yeah. So what are you thinking of the matchup so far between the Rendon and the SNC? I look that closer last, to game one. Yeah, that last game was complete spaghetti. I mean, I was chatting yeah. with Jed in the back, mm. and uh, we both agreed like there was uh, definitely a lot of tension going on there, just spaghetti. Because we were talking about pasta recipes, right, in the, the comms before. Right. So maybe, you know, uh, SNC is trying to bring out those recipes for everyone to, to watch. Understandably, of course. I noticed that as um, as well. SNC was uh, quite a big fan of just chilling on a platform and waiting for Rendered to, to approach because Rendered's quite an impatient player. It's yes. a meme at this point, but SNC is the kind of guy who will notice that and just bait out an approach. And oh, he nice knows parry. his platforms, he knows his spacing, and so he'll take complete advantage of whatever opportunities you give him. Especially with... Rendered trying to be the rushdown as SNC wants. SNC is really just able to take advantage of it whenever he comes up. Because it's always such a linear type of uh, like attack. Yeah, you have to be quite careful with your approaches, Azori, because like 
Um, sure, or he's fast Ooh, nice and he's trying to rush you down. But if you do that predictably, SNC will have an answer for that and just beat you out for like Nair or Rock or whatever. So you have to be careful in how you, you do that. Interesting to see SNC not going for the riskier, I guess you would say, uh, up airs from the up tilts. What? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh nice rock through. Getting I like that purple. down tilt to rock. I was wondering what SNC had planned there. I mean, it felt like a fairly easy um, punish, but uh, I suppose that'll work. I love how just oh, efficiently SNC can just get you off stage and um, yeah. into a bad situation. Super consistent with the w uh, the stage carries into an edge guard. Always being able to get it, or at Ooh. least put you into an unfortunate situation. Both players just kind of trying to battle it out for stage control right now. Back off stage. Let's see what. Whoa! Oh, this is the tech he's been talking about. Oh no! Oh, he can still recover. Wait. Oh, what? he wore. Oh, early. that's that a flood. Oh no! And that's what Renan's been on about. Just getting that really good spacing so that he, they can't tech on the wall. Neither the pillar. Oh, no, another bash. Oh my that's god! Guaranteed. Let's go! Let's go, oh, Renan. That's hype. Let me uh, let me just update the score oh, real you want quick. To close that every game. Um, well, it's it's up to you how how uh, you do it. We just haven't closed it. <laughs> well, I mean, now that I'm back on comms, yeah, yeah, we're yeah. gonna do it the fancy way. Yeah, we we just kept it open the entire time. Yeah. Really well done by Ren and Spy on that on that last game, getting the double bash kill on the same. Yeah, left like side both as well. of those bashes were pretty risky and committal, and yet he just pulled it off. Like mm. SNC has to be shaking in his boots right now. He doesn't know what to do against this. He's, he's probably just seen this like in the scene, as you know, Renan being the only, uh, or like notable Ori player as well as of recently. Yeah. He's probably never had to verse something like that, so I well, guess he's gonna have to change his pillaring. Yeah, it's good to see that Rendered is applying some new edge guarding techniques and trying to adapt, because this has already always been a traditionally quite hard set. I mean, not to mention it's SNC. Oh, oh nice zero to death by SNC. Really Just good on the edge. Using guard those there. platforms to climb up and continue his upwards pressure and mm. rendered. SNC is always having the great rock usage as well. Of course, yes. Yeah. Really nice plat movement from the both of them, being unpredictable with it. Now, I do remember being on comms with SNC, and one of the things he suggested for you in particular is to work on your recovery game. Oh, 100%. 100%. Yeah, like some of those uh, recoveries were shot, like, man. Shot it, yeah. They were so sad. Yep. It's something I've still got to improve on. Not something I've focused on completely going into uh, BAM, as I've just wanted to get other general stuff better instead of trying well, to learn something new. On the plus side, SNC was a big fan of uh, your overall fundamentals. He said you seem to be quite a solid player. I'm so. very happy to hear. Renan's quite potentially being able to bring this back. Trying to bash what I guess oh, is... Oh, the nice bash again. Oh my bash. god. Super Last committal stock. Well. Could Renan Spy do this? Is Renan Spy going to make the upset? Oh my god. Oh, oh. God, look at that patient wait by Super. Just kind of trying to bait out um, an approach. Okay. Interesting to see as well, SNC peaking Tower of Heaven, knowing Whoa. it's Renan's favorite stage. So he's just super comfortable on it. But he lost luck. Lost luck last game in the Champions Battle. Jeez, oh, Renan's got to be like feeling so nervous right now. Well, I suppose both players have got to be mm. feeling quite nervous. I mean, with SNC, you don't want to be going into losers this early. Oh, oh nice, nice air, dodge. air dodge. This could be the. Oh, oh the pack. No, it's, a, oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's, oh, oh, he's oh, off he's stage! Smoked. Oh my god! Oh, that's it! Ah, that's that's it. it. Oh, let's that's go! It. Ah. Ren and Spy meets SNC! Oh my god! Oh. My goodness! Amazing work by Ren and Spy! Wow! Well done! Jesus Christ! An unbelievable wow. upset within, within God Bam. damn! That's crazy. Ren and Spy being the head T <laughs> the better T O, I guess. Even advertisement board twenty four is saying, let's go! Board 24, that's oh, like yeah, see. just like well done to that guy. Oh. Well done. He well made some done. really risky uh, committal that's, plays. That's what he thinks he needs to do in the in the in the matchup, and I guess it's just been working out uh, great. Yeah, just it, it worked out. Mm. SNC just wasn't ready to deal with that. I've been the one that he's been practicing on, so I've I've known of this for a while. I ain't gonna leak any information, but hey, we're seeing, <laughs> we're seeing it happen now. Oh, it's great to man. see him pull it out properly 
especially against one of the most like consistent players within Australia. Yeah. To just you know play an Australian scene. Well, look, it's only early days. Mm. SNC is going to be going into losers. Losers SNC must be a different man. Oh yeah, I mean. If there's any cash money to be won, it's going to be won by that man. Oh, 100%. What's that? Uh, well, no, I mean, I need to be playing a set right now, right? Yeah, I do. So we need to find someone else to get on. I don't know who else wants. All right. I'm hopping off. Thanks, All everyone. Right. Ocean has to play a set against R7, and we are getting Jet on comms. Hello. Hello, Jet. How's it going? Good, yourself? I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine, brother. Did you have a good sleep last night? It was it was all right. We slept in the same room. Yeah. Was the couch comfortable? No, the couch was awful. Yeah, it, it seemed was like completely it. completely awful. I'm glad I had the mattress. <laughs> yeah, I should have just taken the mattress. <laughs> it's like, uh, no way. We have Osu versus Random 7 Flame. Pom versus... Who, who's Random? Rano? No, not Rano. Uh, or Kane. That's, That's it. That's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Random's the only one that plays it, I completely forgot about it. Where is it? Orkane, un uh, Oh my god, I'm blind. Get rid of these. Yep. What is it now? I wouldn't even know. We're still in winners, yeah, full qualifier. <laughs> Alright, what do you think of this matchup? Do you so have any thoughts? I, I have not a clue on, uh, on okay. this at all. Because I've not only really hardly played, uh, what do you call it, Orkane yeah. generally. I've just never played against a like a pawn besides Ludovician, which is like three games. <laughs> so you know, I'm not, I'm not really too sure. You're I've you're the one that wanted to pick I've her up at least. Yeah, I I've played a lot of pawn. Mm. Uh, characters kind of busted. Oh yeah, but not not quite. The frame three jab. I mean, I'm pretty sure Rasta has a frame three jab. Uh, you just like playing top two, eh? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, why not? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Honestly, right? why go why through the struggle? You? Um. I had a chat with Random about this matchup. Right. Uh, we ran through some stuff. He seems like he has some options, but his fight is uh he's definitely nervous mm. to face Osu. I mean, Osu is just always a Osu, very solid player. Yeah. I don't rate him, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> the people say otherwise. How oh, rock paper scissors. Is oh. Both paper. Oh. oh. Osu with I the win. I think Osu won with the rock. Yeah. Dude, get me in. How do I get this? I don't I don't know. Dude, check this out. And then how do you transition to the game screen? Um <laughs> we uh, we're figuring it out. I mean it's one of these. Oh, is it in game? Maybe. Yeah. Oh, God nice. dear. So what are you thinking about stage bands? What what was random seven flame thinking of for this? Uh, so you think they're gonna be merchant? Oh, there we go. Because I think top I think platforms is something you want to be banning against the pom. From what I've been hearing, anyway. You're probably right. Mm. Especially with flow and up B. Exactly. I saw OC was going for a lot of it. There we go, frozen going gates. To ethereal gates, then. Fair enough. They're going. Oh. I need Eight. to do this one. You so you right click on the screen. Go window projector program, the second one. Whoa. And then full screen. Hells yeah. Yep. And we are game in play. game. Alright. This is going to be good to watch. I'm expecting a campy game. Yeah. yeah. But uh, so far they're scrapping. Oh, I'm just going to get it with the up air. I feel like float would invalidate bubbles kind of. You reckon? Yeah, because it like. It gives you so much time just like wade them out and everything like that. True. It would also force the Orkane to approach in the air, I feel like. Yeah, you definitely want to stay grounded in this matchup against yeah. Bomb. Oh, Osu really going for that up B. Unfortunately, not high enough for it. Oh. Mid stage getting the up air purple. Good tech. Well done to Osu. Oh, it's a kill. Ooh. R7 <laughs> expecting the tech. Osu Ooh. not taking on purpose. Really nice to see. I was, uh. No tech is like such a good option in this game. Mm. I, I don't think enough people use it. I think it's definitely a thing that is player dependent with no teching. True. Because there are more, there are players like us seven that love to read text. So if you don't do it, he's gonna have to adapt. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, probably should have been a down smash. Ooh, unfortunate, not being able to kill. Really trying to fish with these smash attacks. 
Just giving Osu Ooh. more range. Oh, nice. By Osu with the parry on the side B. Man, I'm too enthralled by this gameplay. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. Tr Jeez. Tries to get the parry. Osu doesn't throw out a move. And now Osu's up in a two, two stock lead. Ooh. Tries to get the parry again, misses. No. Ooh, unfortunate. No. All the bubbles. More bubbles. Into more bubbles. <laughs> oh, forward air after forward air. Trying oh. to get that kill. I really fishing for it. You can probably trade down smash. Oh, sorry. Down, Pom's down air with Orkane's up air. And Orkane would probably win that, I reckon. 100%, especially at this percent. Yeah. Oh, does not get the up air. <laughs> right, Doesn't matter, though. Down smash yes, gets so. it. Has to come back from a, from being a stock up. But Osu's really going to be running away with this. Yeah, I think Random's being a bit too aggressive. Mm. He Kinda has to slow down against Osu. Dash deck and forward is such a, a good option. Really dash forces them to be oh. into one area. Yeah, Pom's dash attack is wild. Because it's like, good if move. you DI in, you're just going to get absolutely wrecked by Fair. Right. But if you DI out, you're so far off stage. Yeah, it's it's just unfortunate either way. Oh, nice parry, and that's, that's just going to be the game one. Yeah. Game one going to Osu. Well done on him. Really just being able to control the pace of the game the entire time. Not really letting getting not really letting R7 take any footing. Yeah, I think yeah, R7's just going way too fast, I think. Mm. Um definitely just like throwing moves out, hoping that it's gonna hit. But um Osu's pretty campy. Right. Oh, I wouldn't say campy, he's playing neutral a lot better and he's he's waiting for those hits to come out mm. and just parrying uh, punishing them afterwards. What do we got for bands? Okay. Alright, straight into this. Straight to Blazing Hideout, I'm pretty sure. Yes, this is Blazing Hideout. Yeah. This is a stage I will refuse to play on. <laughs> really? Why is yeah. that? I just personally don't like the plot layout, and I, therefore I'll just always ban it. That's yeah. one of my three bands all the time. I have the same three bands for every every game, every set. Same. Yeah. I, uh, I think the plot, plot layout on this is kind of annoying, but... All right. um, it's also not that bad. If you just wait, because like a lot of people will um, just tech when they get to it. Yeah. You just wait it out. Also it's also nice for people who like to do uh, plat drop aerials. Yeah. Because it's just like covers the whole stage. R7, having really good use of that forward at getting back to stage earlier on in the set, uh, in the game. Or also being able to abuse the ending lag on that. Oh my god. I forgot that puddle was even there. <laughs> so did Osu. Ooh, gets it. Doesn't matter though. Just Osu's too fast on it. That was good. Parry the, the one straight Ooh, note. To going for the F smash there randomly, R7. Oh, I don't even know what hit him. <laughs> it was, uh, down smash and down tilt. Huh? After the set, yeah? Ooh, d okay. in. Ooh, Vincent into the forward air. Nice parry again. Osu being really consistent with those this set. He had a puddle that whole time? I did not see that. Interesting here that he didn't use it, although the, the Maybe dash he didn't. fair. He might have only just placed it. Right. Ooh, he was getting hit by all the notes. Oh my, Osu really bringing this into a, into his last stock devastation. Dash attack just being an insanely nice move. Alright, that's... Oh, I'm calling it now. This is game. This is game. Yeah. Right this, this edge guard is just not deciding to end. Ooh, R7 get the turnaround to there begin fares, but doesn't matter. Osu takes it. Well played to Osu. Really showing dominance within that set against the R7. Killed it. Absolutely mm. killed it. Killed random. What are you going? What? What are you looking for? I'm looking for Lichko. Lichko? Oh, yeah, yeah, he ran away. Alright. Cool games for both of them. I will be getting off bombs in turn for Lichko. Hope everyone has a good one at, ba at BAM and have a good stream. See you around. Hello, let's go. I'm gonna leave you if that's okay. Oh, you are? Yeah, you got this solo, yeah? Sure, why not? I got some lunch to get. I'm a busy man, you know, top player and all. I get you. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. The people need me. I like me, the Hangman loser, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Did you watch Hangman vs. Conga? 
Yeah, that was that was, it was good. Did you commentate it? I didn't commentate it, no. Okay. I missed it. I was popping off from the crowd though. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I went up to Conger and he seemed really bummed about it. I was like, oh man. Was it a two-o? Two-one. Okay. Close. Close there. He. No, dude. What he did is he he went up to the, like top platform of Trupal. Yeah. Jumped, pillared, down smash. On Craig. Okay. <laughs> And he died because he was like holding in. <laughs> it Sick. Was pretty unfortunate. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh my Have God. you done all your games? Um, you were in first pool, weren't you? You're in my pool. Yeah. Are you so, in top 12? Uh, I am. There you go. I'm first SNC. <laughs> oh, yeah, because he lost the render. Yeah, what the fuck? Bro? I mean, <laughs> That's I'm pretty sure Render did that. Recently, oh. I feel like he beat SNC recently. SNC hasn't played in like a year, and watching his gameplay, it's still the same. At Guilty Ghost Drive, it's still very uh, much on. the same. A message from, him on uh, Discord. When he used to play. So SNC has not adapted or changed his gameplay at all. Mm. And uh, well, I hope I get. I, I hope I don't get double knocked out by the Crags, man. That <laughs> that would be rough. That would be rough. But also, on the other hand, if I upset SNC. I know, every, like, as soon as I come back to New Zealand, everybody's going to be popping off, like... <laughs> no, oh SNC's God. washed, man. He's washed. I'm calling it. He's SNC washed. is washed, bro. Yep. Damn. I'm going to beat him. You heard it here first, folks, from Jet. <laughs> He's been washed for a year. Damn. That's tough. All right, I'm going to go find lunch. I'm going to leave you to it. Go for it, I know man. you're capable. I'm a very capable commentator. All right, have fun. I do my thing. What's good, people? If you're in the chat, say hi. It's your boy Lichko. I'm here holding it down. Oh, am I needed again? Oh, no. Okay. We need somebody to commentate. Hmm. Yeah, he comes. Hello stream once again. Here we go, back on. These are not right. We Here have we SNC <laughs> and Red Chains on comms. Let me update that. I think it's funny you got the, the dust tag there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, who, gotta, who we got? So we have Barney versus Alistair, BL. Right. Barney playing the Maple is my guess, and Alistair playing a Claren, as always. Uh, I think it's Alistair with an A, isn't it? Hey, Barney! Maple, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, Barney did the Maple. Uh, uh, he likes to do random back in uh, WA, so I have to make sure. I don't know who Alistair plays anymore. Alistair, between Claren and Olympia, but right yeah. now it's just been Claren. Oh, we'll see. Yeah. Oh, but you've got the... <laughs> hey, he's the one that put it in. And everything. I was kind of <laughs> just sitting here. Look, I'll, I'll update that for the moment. <laughs> there we are. So how are you feeling being in loses so early? Oh, it's alright. Yeah. Um, look, I, I haven't practiced in quite some time. Right. I don't think it's to be expected that I just co-spy after this long. Right, understandably. Rendered spy is someone who's been putting the work in for a very 100%. long time. 100%. And he caught me off guard. He had new things coming my way that I, I didn't know about. And I think you could see that in the gameplay. Exactly. There were some shaky moments from my side. The Blazing Fortress game especially. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But just, yeah, a couple of silly mistakes in my recoveries. I'm just not... I'm not disciplined. I don't have that execution yeah, anymore, yeah. you know? Things like that. You can't make excuses. If I was practicing, yeah, absolutely. But it's just but a different universe. I can't show up exactly not right. practicing after this long and then be upset for losing. Yeah. That's not really fair on anyone. 100%. That's fair enough. But, you know, I'm enjoying the event so far, and that's mm. what's important. Event's been going really well. Has some really nice sets, actually, today. So it's been great. Great to see you. Okay, it looks like we are getting so ready to the Claren, right. get into the game. Crag. Hey, in game. Here we go. <laughs> That's just me not being familiar with OC and stream setup, you know. Jules Vale. Hey, there we 
there we go. I actually haven't played on this stage yet with the, the new skin. I have not either. I've it's interesting. Not one the, to play pump to get the uh to get the milestone. <laughs> I mean, new, new track, more music in the game, you know. It it does sound nice. I won't lie, but like the stage visuals, I'm not a fan of. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I, I know that some of the stages are a bit overwhelming. People aren't used to them. Hundred you know? percent. I do like how that stage, the top platform, came in. I think it's great. Yeah. Anyways, let's go, let's focus on the players <laughs> yeah, let's here. Let's focus so on the people playing the set. And not the stage. Barney was actually someone I was really interested in seeing at this tournament. I think they're someone who could come in with quite a few upsets. Or oh, unfortunate. With the Currently, upbeat. I think they're the strongest player in Western Australia. They, um, they are. The old 100%. guard Pretzel, I, I think, maybe got the win in an event not so long ago. But I don't know if that was with Barney in the bracket or not. Yeah, Pretzel's still on the comeback to becoming the best. But yeah, at the exactly. moment, Barney is showing a lot of dominance. I mean, they've been um, basically reinvigorating that Western Australian scene. A lot, lot of players in those brackets, you know, picking up the game. Mm. Um, Alistair BL, um, I mean, I, I think we know him from... The New Zealand scene. Yeah, the New Zealand in, uh, scene. Wellington, I'm pretty sure. So he's done a lot of stuff with, with Lichko over there as well. Um, yep. But he, well practiced in a lot of platform fighters. I know yeah, that he... he's doing ultimate as well this tournament. Yeah, uh, Plays um, Sora, I believe. Yes, yes. And He's lo he loves Sora. That's why he rocks the uh, rocks tie. Yeah. Because it's a uh, it's a reference to the Kingdom Hearts games and whatnot. <laughs> oh, nice with. Nice but he's with played a lot of like Rushdown Revolt, a lot of rivals as oh, well. Oh, he was a Rushdown Revolt player. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice F smash. It's funny, he kind of plays a similar character in each game. So in Rushdown Revolt, I think he is a Zuron main, which is similar to Mark in some ways. It's just all sort. And then Clarion, obviously takes a lot of that as well yep. from Smash Ult. But I, I know that uh, Kingdom Hearts means a lot to him, so obviously he's going to go for Sora, but 100%. it's not not too far gone from that you know, archetype. Yeah, it's still under the same general <laughs> idea of characters. Bonnie doing really well in this match, just really forcing Alistair to play his game. And in saying that, Bonnie just being able to take game one like that. It is a pleasure to see Barney at a local. You know, it's not something that we always get the opportunity. Especially to see. being, a, you know, a Western Australian player. There's a lot of trouble. Yeah. Oh my goodness, we got in so quickly. Straight into game two. <laughs> On the rock wall, this is the same counter pick that Alistair had done against Osu when he was actually able to take. Uh, he was able to do a nice showing. Good stage for Maple, I think. Um, those side platforms really help out having Lily at yeah. least on the middle area. I mean, that grounded position is, is pretty weak to counterplay. Right. But it depends on the player. I mean, little up air chains like that into the up special, if, if Alistair's not DIing those well, then low blast zones like this, it's not going to help him. Barney's yeah. going to take advantage of that. He'll be getting kills off the top. And she's going to be having so much fast, though. Oh, <laughs> nice parry. I feel like Alistair was taking the more direct route with some of those. Mm. Yeah, oh. Oh look, it's up to Barney to just play around that, isn't it? Yeah. You can see a little dash dance there. To Barney's really just playing a s much slower game. Oh, he's trying to bait out those options as yeah, much 100%. as he can. So I think he just has the confidence that he can you know, out outplay Alistair in that yeah. way. There's no reason to be shying. Since I mean, ha like having a full stock lead would have helped, but yeah. <laughs> Alistair quickly takes that away. It evens up the stock counts, but... You know, 110% basically. Oh, well, Alistair with the combos though, being able to bring rack up a lot of percent. Oh, he's getting closer to these blast zones. Bunny keeps just DIing in, which is oh, unfortunate. Not sure about that. Oh my god, Alistair with the reverse on that stock completely. Now it's currently in the lead. Bunny deciding to hold in a lot, just really, really yeah. close on that stock. Oh, nice to read it onto the uh, air dodge. Yeah, good pick up for Barney there. I, and I feel like the game has mostly been in his favour so far, but yeah. if Alistair can get another quick chain like that, that Barney just can't seem to escape out yeah, of. Yeah, then who knows we might be seeing a game three. Yeah. Oh, early oh that's costly. That's, that's very start. costly. That's the set. <laughs> oh, I, I, Alistair must have just been freaking out there or something. Oh, well, he used the wall jump too early. Yeah, 100%. So you, so these other resources already gone. It's not something that you can really come back from, you know? Especially a character like Claren is just really, like, you need it. You need that wall jump get that going. I think that is our second last set of uh, 
this pool. So we've got yep. one more set coming. And then we're going to have a break coming into top 12. So everyone's going to go get lunch. How long is the break for? Scheduled for an hour. But I've just checked the bracket. Everyone in top 12 is a Rivals player only okay. up until that point. Except for, I believe, Lichgo. Right. If Lichgo has more Dragon Ball stuff, then that's the only concern. Okay. Um, but yeah, otherwise, schedule's up to us now. Okay. We can decide how long we take. I believe most of the top 12 is going to be on stream, if not all of it, too. That's good to see. Yeah. So we'll just wait and see. Who have we got left to go? Frost and Frost Pyro and Tihi. Which Tihi is... Uh, I think they... I think they play Guilty Gear. If I remember correctly. I actually played them earlier. I believe they were a Molo player. That's not how you spell Pyro. Oh, wrong way around. Yeah. <laughs> Exclamation mark. Pardon? Don't we have one more set to play? Yeah, we have Frost and Tihi. We got one more set. Okay, so what do you want me to do? Okay. Apparently, uh, we've been waiting on the last player. I've been told to kill time. Oh, okay, okay. So, so put on your, your best standoff. You got a, you got a sharp 10 you can do? <laughs> no, I ain't got shit for this. This is not what I was You weren't you prepared for this? I was not prepared to commentate. When you sit in the commentator's chair, you take on these responsibilities. You know, it's, it's up to you to be I don't know. I had to become a different man for a role like this. <laughs> you didn't take the, the seminar beforehand? <laughs> <It was laughs> I didn't even talk about a class we, even after yeah, me. I kind of just like, yeah, you're on comms. So I was like, yeah, fair enough. Someone should have been taking attendance at those. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I would have been missing every fucking every day. <laughs> <laughs> so, That's all right. what does Tiki play? Does, is Tiki an uh, Molo player? player? I think they said that they picked up the game with the Workshop Four. Right, right. Um, so, you know, definitely a lot of bomb stuff. Mm. Um, I know bomb's got a bit of a rework this morning in the latest patch. But we we're are not playing, playing on the previous patch, yeah, not the current one. Um, which is they have some interesting changes to the bombs, like uh, putting Molo into Parry Stun. Yeah, little, little things like that yeah. just to make bombs not so you know, strong. Difficult to defend yeah. against, I would say. The main defensive tool that you have against bombs currently is just batting them away. If you just hit them. Yeah. Which um, I'm not sure a lot of people are taking advantage of that. But it looks like we do have our players here. That is good to see. <laughs> I'll let them get comfortable before I swap over. Mm. But yeah, Frost, um, I mean, he has been real competitor in the amateur league yes, bracket. So yes, he's someone you really probably well. are familiar with, with uh, playing yep. in tournament, yeah? I've played him, I've only played him, I think twice in bracket ever. Oh really? Yeah, the, the first time was one of the, was just a weekly I think it was. Sure. And then the second time was the Ami finals. The finals, yeah. yeah those are the only two times I've played him in. If I recall, that was a tightly contested set, wasn't it? Yeah, no? no, it was 3-0. 3-0? Yeah. I felt like the games were close. but uh. the last, last game was the closest, for sure. Okay. The other two kind of... I mean, he was doing but that well. Was, it wasn't too that close. That was losers' finals of that event, yes. wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I shouldn't... Uh, <laughs> I should remember, I was commentating. <laughs> <laughs> that, w that would be a good thing to do, hey? Out, out one year, um, or in one year, out the other, you know? Because I, th I thought we'd be meeting so much earlier in bracket, but he lost to, um, uh, what was his name? Redshaw Meerkat. Yes, yeah. And that completely screwed up just how I thought the entire thing was going to go. But eventually we did meet. And I, I thought it was a fun set to play. For us, apparently, oh, obviously please don't tell me we're messing with the sound. Oh my god. <laughs> Why are we doing this? <laughs> we're having a laugh in the first pool because Conga rocks up with his keyboard. Mm. Yeah, you know, has to restart the game f yeah. a few times. Then he changes all the sound settings, which means we have to change all the stream settings as well. <laughs> like he just he just rocks up and breaks the setup for us. Why are we doing this? Yeah. <laughs> Osu didn't see, but I think um, if nah, he did, he'd be shaking his head in the background nah, too. I would just leave him to it. Yeah. If the music's too loud in the the chat, let us know. We'll we'll get that fixed up. I think we should be okay though. So who? If not, so I can just scream down the microphone yeah. for you. So you, know. you were saying Molo, right? Yeah, I believe Molo. Can <laughs> tease. Uh, look, I've, I've only had my one set experience earlier right, in this right, pool, right. so this maybe it'll like be a different character. But yeah, it um, looks like we are looking at Molo. Classic Molo. 
Workshop 4 bringing in a couple of new players from what I had seen in different regions. Yeah. Like I know Wellington picked up a good couple of Hodon players as well. Oh good. Getting into the stage bands here, so let's have a look. <laughs> so what are your thoughts on uh, Frost and Pirate? What do you think he should be banning? Do you think he'd prefer like comfortable bans or... Oh uh, look, Molo's, Molo's a new character. It's yeah. hard to sort of tell. Um, I must admit, I, despite doing the frame data for the character, <laughs> I don't have much experience in tournament play. Um, I was actually surprised at... Oh god, the characters are, are wrong. <laughs> I was actually surprised oh, at... How well T he was holding their own. Right. You know, they... So definitely obviously the trying to make use of a lot of the bomb stuff. Um, yeah. A couple things on this patch, you know, they're a little overturing, like the up air, things like that. Mm. And, you know, with the workshop pull, I think everyone is going to t these tournaments with oh, the understanding that... The heavy bomb hitting. There are going to be changes again in the future. Right. Um, I think they're a lot of fun, and that's probably the... The biggest takeaway for me personally. Oh, T he being able to create so much pressure with these bombs, with such little players as the Molo, it's really hard for Frost to know what to do. He's got to learn it on the on the spot. Yeah, well, it, being able to adapt to that, um, Molo's got a very thin hurt box, I believe. Right. Oh, unfortunate <laughs> timing. But I mean, someone who hasn't played at local tournaments before, T he. He's, he's almost making it into show. top 12. It's, yeah. yeah. Last set of pulls here. Like, like well done to the guy. You know? I'd, I'd, much as I'd love to see Pross and Pyro make a really decent showing and maybe make it further into the top 12 bracket. It'd be amazing to see Tiki actually make it through. It'd be amazing to see a Molo player come out of nowhere. <laughs> and currently, he's actually in the lead, Ooh, which nice is crazy to there. see. Not sure about these up specials that they're doing in neutral though. Mm. That is one of the weaknesses of the oh, character. Oh, that's pretty cool. The funny. SDs <laughs> as well is one of the weaknesses. The up special is quite easy for some characters to challenge. Right. Um, especially like uh, at, the, at the at the edge of the wall. Mm. Um, Maple doesn't have so many large hitboxes that can very easily be used to, to deal with that. Um, like obviously you think about forward strong, but yeah. it's a slow move. It's really very committal. Slow, it's right. You know, things like that. So if you miss it, you're getting punished. Yeah. yeah. So one thing I'd probably like to see from Frost and Pyro is just using like down tilt and things like that to challenge that. Yeah. See how it works out at the very least. You know, just give it a try. Yeah, maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. You're going to be testing some things hard to understand. <laughs> what works and what's not. Because I think we agree it is a bit of an experiment right now. <laughs> 100%. This entire I don't think Frost Pyro has much Molo experience. This entire set will be an experiment. The only, yeah. the only Molo he might have is... A player called Burning and another player called Gabe. Besides those two, I don't think he has any Molo experience yeah. since nobody really plays the character. Well, not online, anyways. But yeah, T he holding out a head so far. Yeah, actually doing really well for for themselves. Just being absolute pest with these bombs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, that's the point of the characters, they're not absolute great zoner. Oh, nice up smash coming in from Frost, really. One thing that has been difficult to counter in this patch, and I think that's why we saw some of the changes from this morning's patch, is the bombs thrown from up special are quite difficult to sort of counter. Um, right. Even if you parry them, Molo just kind of gets away for free because it doesn't put a into oh, him rather into parry stun. Mm. I think that's been changed in the latest patch. But hey, I haven't too. looked very closely. Yeah, I'd only seen it briefly this morning as well. Yeah. Oh, nice. An observation from with my the tether into the forward egg. Yeah. Something he, he loves to do consistently. Always going for the double dunks as well whenever he can. They are quite sharp on those tether combos. Mm. I think if Frost can improve that, he can really go a step further within his uh, rival's, rival's uh, opportunity, uh, career or whatever. Well, they've got a lot of like basic movement stuff now. And, yeah. um, so you can sort of kind of see that style of, of bait that you know, a character like Maple will need to play. Mm. Um, I do think there's some opportunities in the combo chains that Frost Pyro could continue to work on. 100%. I haven't looked at their recovery quite closely. That's one element that I'm not really uh, sure of. Re Frost's recovery is fine for the most part. He does like to mix it up. Yeah. But he likes to do it in like a rotation, sort of. 
where he'll go up, up, like, he'll go higher, then he'll go lower, then he'll go, you know, medium. But then he'll just do that repeating. So yep. it's like, they are technically mixed up, but well, unfortunate missing the wall jump. We love Aramata. I mean, the Aramata pick. This is Teehee's counter pick. Uh, Interesting counter pick, though. Just won't enable them to make use of the up special in that way. Right. You know, Molo can kind of recover for a very long time. Yes. They spend a lot of time off stage if they, they can. And I guess Aramata really cuts that off a lot sooner than it otherwise would. Yeah. Are we really just seeing two bombs just get picked? <laughs> and that was like 30%. Yeah. It was a good trade. What's interesting is T is actually changing up the bombs. Yeah, so every single time. Oh, unfortunate. You can see him throwing the firecracker, changing over to like the... What is it? The, the death bomb. <laughs> <laughs> the big <laughs> Things like bomb. that. When we see the cherry bombs, I think that is because the other bomb is on cooldown. Yeah. But I mean, he does sometimes like to pull it out, like yeah. he did uh, at the beginning of the stock. But just seeing a lot of special usage come out mm. from, from TE. <laughs> just missed Lily there, but... Oh, Frost not able to make it back. Oh, but he's able to now. <laughs> nope, never mind. That's um, quite a funny funny little that, interaction that there. Was, I, that was certainly an interaction. See, he's just extending it, you know. Trying to get clips for the Twitter, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice F smash. And that's going to bring the set. Well done. Tiki putting a great show for the first time. They're coming out to a local, let alone major. But congratulations to Frost and Pyro. Yeah, Final top 12. person going into top 12 today. It's good to see. Always love to see people from the, you know, that are always in the community, always coming into the uh, yeah. to the latest like, stages of the um, tournament. I mean, a lot, of, a lot of players here who have not been able to travel until now as well. Right, right. I know this is your first big major oh, traveling 100%. out to this. Yeah. I mean, this is the first major that's run since I've played. Yeah, I know. We had yeah. Mega Metal Cavern got delayed. Yeah, so that is running in New South Wales later this year. Yep. So expect to see a lot of us there for that. That'll be exciting. Luckily, I don't have to travel for that. <laughs> I, I do like a 20-minute train ride and I'm there. I'm chilling. But for now, we are focused on BAM. Mm. We are taking a lunch break now. Um, there'll be details out on Top 12. It's going to be about approximately an hour. Um, that may may change depending on how long we want, um, to be honest with you. <laughs> But yeah, expect details. If you're following the Twitter account, we'll make a post when we're, we're going yeah. live again. Um, if you're following the Twitch, definitely get an alert that way. But we'll see you later on today for top 12. Have a good one, people. Of our rivals beat the bracket today. Thank you all.